Head look. Hey, offset weave. Are you going to get it? Hey, see, that one was harder. That one was harder to do, and you still did it. Ape hangers and, and beach cruiser bars are tough. Oh, that was really good. Um, let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Let's see what happens. Wrap it. Wrap it. More of the slow straight line, or are you going to come back around? Let's see. Let's see. Good friction zone. <laughs> Throttle control. Nice widening, nice wide arc. Here we go. We're gonna go around the first one. Start on this one. And I know you have to go wide because of how how big your saddles or saddles your, your saddlebags are. So I, I understand you have to go wide. The wide is not the problem. It does look like Tucson. See how when you when you go wide on the first one, if you go wide on the first one, it's gonna mess you up for the next ones. You look down a little bit right there. And that's fine, because I, I, what I see is somebody wanting to get better and is attempting to get better, get better, get better, get better. And that's that's the thing. So we're still in the learning stage but we got the concept down we know we have to do this you know how to operate a motorcycle at least now it's about refining the skill and refining what we need to be doing there's a drop incoming right there you knew it all right and this is why we have crash protection you just calling it a day <laughs> how you doing buddy all right all right, so what I'm going to go ahead and just offer right here, because this is going to be the first part. Okay. So when it comes to, let's go back just a little bit. When it comes to the turns, let's say, I think we're going in through this way. Let's, let's see. Let's see where you start. Okay, so you start on that one. Let's do that. All right. So you're going to start around this cone right here. You're gonna go in and do this. Now it's obviously the depth of this perceptions and stuff is gonna make it a little bit difficult towards the end. All right, Paul, let's see what you do. Now this is a good view. Okay, very good, I like this view. So I can see where you're doing. It's a little bit wide, but that's fine, that's fine. Okay, see how it messes you up for the next one, but you keep going, practice, practice, practice. What is up everybody, Dan Dan the Fireman here. Today I'm out here practicing my figure eights, obviously just with one hand. Uh oh, everyone's getting mad at me. But I wanna talk to you real quick and give you some pointers on how to learn pretty much anything new. And we're talking about motorcycles today. So how do we learn how to do the figure eights? Not with one hand, but how do we just learn how to do the figure eights? How do we learn how to do what we need to do? Well, there's three stages to it. You gotta gather the information. So think of it as like getting a recipe for a new steak that you're gonna start making on that salt block or whatever. Or if you're gonna be, you know, learning how to dance, you gotta learn the step moves, right? You gotta learn all the steps and then you gotta, after that, anyways, we're gonna learn all the steps. We're going to class the first time. The second stage is practice. You're training, you're developing habits, whether good or bad. And that's why you need to know what the steps are. That first step is, and so you're going to class, you start adding music to your dance moves, you're all working together. Also, you know, you're maybe cooking, you know, experimenting with different type of salt blocks, different types of steaks, different kinds of seasoning, all that stuff. And then you have your end result, okay? So your first time you suck at dancing, your first time your steak tastes good anyways, because steaks are amazing, but uh, it's not as good as you want it. So you keep practicing, keep practicing, keep making more, keep buying more steaks, keep going to class. And before you know it, it becomes automatic. You don't even look at the recipe. You don't even look at the instructor. You don't even do anything. You just feel it. And that right there is the automaticity stage. And the only way you get there is if you understand what you're supposed to be doing, you go out there and practice, you develop those habits and it becomes automatic. So what I like to do, my biggest tip, instead of just saying, you know, turn your head, make sure you have counterweight, make sure you have friction zone, make sure you have throttle control, make sure you use your rear brake. If you have issues, if you feel like you're putting your foot down, do more counter. 
oh, it's so boring. And I understand those are that first step. So if you're having trouble, listen to that. But here's the thing that might help you out that a lot of people don't really talk about. Just dance with the bike, lead the bike, tell it where it wants to go. You're the one putting the ingredients on the steak. You're the one leading the dance with the dance partner. Go for it, just do it, okay? Now, if you have trouble and you're still what is up everybody, Dan Dan the Fireman here. Today I'm out here practicing my figure eights, obviously just with one hand. Uh-oh, everyone's getting mad at me. But I wanna to talk to you real quick and give you some pointers on how to learn pretty much anything new. All right. And Who keeps pushing the buttons? What the heck? What's going on over here? What is going on over here? There we go. How's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing today? Let's make me smaller. This is kind of ridiculous. And there. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and turn down the music just a little bit. There we go. Oh, man. Didn't even get time to get ready. That looks good. I think we're good. A little bit more. That looks good. That looks good. Right, Hercules? Right. We're going to get started today. We got some uh, motorcycle crashes and close calls. We got some parking lot practice. We got a few things. All right, I got to look presentable a little bit. All right. There we go. There we go. Let's get the hat back on. How you guys doing? How's everybody doing today? Just a little bit. Turns it all the way down. Is it all the way down? Let's go ahead and put it back up. How about that? Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, somebody was messing with the cables. Somebody's messing with the cables. We're going to do uh, a, a nice class today. I want everybody to be quiet. I want everybody to have a good time, obviously. But uh, you guys are just constantly commenting, and it's just, I can't keep up. So you guys are going to have to slow it down. Slow it down. Just kidding. Don't slow it down. We got plenty of moderators in here. We're all good. We could do it. Woo -wee. Let's see. Let's see some of the people in the chat. Go ahead and comment real quick. I want to. I want to see your comments. I want to see where you're from. Yeah, Hag, are you chewing on the cables? Gator Guida, how you doing, Kenneth? Rainy in Maine. So Maniac HD Rider was in our uh, video last on Tuesday, obviously in Maine. Sefi, how you doing? Jordan Poor is in Florida. Romania with Matei Matei. There we go. There we go. Detroit. I see it. Sawasawa, Detroit. Northeast Florida, Michigan, LA. The link to Streamlabs donation no longer exists in the description. Is there somewhere that says that it's still available? Like you should you should donate in the description. That's true. Let's go ahead and make that happen. Well, we'll do it some other time. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm not too concerned about that. Just do a super chat. Slovakia, Arkansas, San Diego, Netherlands. York, PA. <laughs> Indy 1970 on the Discord. I see that screenshot. I see that. It's an inception. Luis. Hey, first time I'm watching, uh, able to watch your live stream watching for Costa Rica. What to do, Danny boy? Hey. Stand in the fireman. I'm your chief. Danny boy. What? Kentucky green thumb. Hey, what do you grow? 
Uh, I used to donate to you via Streamlabs, and I want to do that now. I can write more. Hey, no, okay, well, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Okay, I'll do that. I'll put it in there. 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 Let's see what it is. Uh. All right, if you're wanting to do it, let me go ahead and get it in there. That's what she said. Uh, let's see. Let me get it. it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I didn't realize you could do more. I, you can write more, so that's that's cool. Ryan Montgomery. Damn, that was a while ago, huh? That was a long class. A long class. That was a that class was a while ago. If I taught you, how you doing now? It's been a while. It has been a while. Where the heck is it? Do, do, do. There we go. There we go. So, Matei, just go ahead and refresh it, and you should have it in the description. See if that works. That's Chief Danny Boy. Exactly. Mudgen Same. I'm on time. You are. Sign in. Jessica Martinez, Nebraska, Omaha, 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 Toronto, Staten Island, Gibbonsburg, Ohio. Sorry to chase on two wheels. Is he? Oh, yeah, he is streaming. He's streaming at two. Oh, I feel bad because uh, I told him I was streaming at three normally. Uh, Chase is good. I like Chase. I like what he's doing. Don't worry too much about it. Chase, if you, if like you want, he's doing. Don't, let's get out of that. I don't know why I was watching it at the same time. Don't know why I was watching it. Let's go and get Nightbot in here. Just in case. Nightbot wants to get crazy. Boom, boom. There we go. How long have I been a retired from firefighting or being a medic? I was, David C. I was a firefighter EMT. I was a career firefighter for career firefighter EMT for 11 years. Uh, I left the service. Um, what Google moderator team. Left the fire service. Sorry, three years ago. I got distracted. Squirrel. Did, did anybody do that to Gator or was is hey if you're if you're a Google employee and watching this, thank you uh, for watching. By the way, you're gonna learn a little bit about Smart Rider principles. But you guys have been demonetizing, age restricting some of the stuff. It's like we're trying to trying to do some educational stuff here using after action reviews. So if you're watching this, Google, YouTube, stop, stop it. Four thousand for your sportster. Whoa, that's what. What happened? That's pretty cheap. This is a friend's account you're on right now. Okay. What's the beard care routine? Uh, just massive amounts of testosterone. Um, you have to first lose all your hair up here to get it here. It's kind of like pruning a, a tree or something. You you prune off some areas so the nutrients will go somewhere else. Kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing. All right. Time to stop. It's got that DHT. <laughs> yes, because I totally look like I totally look like I'm. Let's see, let's get my left arm. Yeah. No. Oh, I almost pulled a muscle there. Whew. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, we got somebody ordering the the Smart Rider Basic Training ebook. Thank you, uh, Patrick, for grabbing one. This is a weird song. There we go. Cla Russell, class will start soon. I'm just getting the pens and papers and everything. We're going to get started. Um, we're going to be talking about some motorcycle crashes. we got to make sure we get everybody signed into today's class. So you have to hit that like button. You have to hit that like button. Okay? So hit it so we can get going soon. What are you guys up to? Nightbots even say, hey, if you want to become a member, do it by clicking that join button. If you, don't, if you don't have a join button, by the way, just click this. Just too manly, five times stronger. Than, 
That's it. I'm just too manly, I guess. Uh, Steve, just too manly. The fireman, have you been? Have you paid attention to the wildfires going on in the Mediterranean here in Greece? It's nuts. No, Katrapas, I haven't. Um, but we had like massive droughts here in on the West Coast, and so I keep track of California and Arizona because I was an Arizona strike team member, um, and I would be able to go to California. I was on the wildland strike team, so I mean, I, I still get the notifications. I never got out of them. But I don't pay attention to anything like on the East Coast or anywhere else. But I do pay attention when it's like a big thing. I just haven't heard anything. I mean, I paid attention to Australia's. What was it like two years ago or something? Last year? I think it was last year. But what's happening in Greece? What's happening? Had some of that California, Oregon smoke last week. It's a crazy, huh, David? It was crazy. I was in Oregon during that freaking uh, heat wave. I was in Oregon during that heat wave. Hey, I'm not going to ask again. Just kidding. I will ask quite a bit. Uh, make sure you click that like button. Click it. It's how you sign into class. Re ready? Uh, Recob, right? It's how we set up for classes, how we get prepped for it. It's how we get it started. It's how you get credit for today's class. New rookie member. If you have been a part of the DDFM crew, make sure you check that little monetary symbol within the, uh, if you're watching this on your phone, the little money, money symbol on uh, the chat. And you can actually share your anniversary. So how many months have you been a part of the crew? You can share your anniversary. Just like, let me scroll up a little bit. Let me scroll up a little bit. Because I'm over here. I could do that. Des Roin has been a rookie member for 17 months. 17. That's that, that's a 7 right after the 1. It's be, it's after 16, before 18. And it's two digits in the 10s. Absolutely crazy. Didn't even think about that. Scarlet's here. Hey, look. If you don't click that like button, I'm going to kick the... Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Scarlet, No. No, you can't kick me from the stream. I already started. I already started. Don't unplug it. Don't unplug it. Sorry for y'all. I'm, so I'm sorry. I know. We'll just blame a rookie. That's fine. <laughs> Whew. Matei, Matei, like the stream for my man. There you go. You got it. You got it. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Ozman. Matei, Matei did something different got stuck on this. Mate, Mate, thanks for the awesome work, Dan. Now I have one request. Shave the beard and keep the epic stash. Put ZZ Top if it gets demonetizing. No, I'm not gonna shave the beard. Thank you for the one dollar. <laughs> Mac. Just done upgraded. To veteran crew status. We won't blame you for it. We won't blame you for, uh, for pulling the plugs and chewing on cables anymore. What are we going to do this stream? We are going to talk about... Let's go ahead and go into the uh, projector room. We got a few things. We got some car park practice. We got a parking lot weaves. Let's go ahead and get rid of this notification. And then we got this thing. Let's go ahead and take a look. So that's her. All right, here we go. Oh, that's pretty much it. That's the whole video. That is the... You guys thought I froze. <laughs> I love doing it. I got to do it at least once a week. I got to do it at least once a week. We're going to get started soon. We're going to get started soon. Just relax. Relax. We're going to go over some parking lot practice. Uh, you guys have sent in your parking lot practice videos with the link in the description. I am good at that. How's the space cushion between the beard and the barber shops? I don't let nobody get near it. There's like no space cushion between my chest hair, my my beard hair, and my neck hair. Woo! 
Mike Burns with a $10 donation. Indy. Oh, another Indy. No, you're the same one. Hey, Robert, Roberto Trevino, take an MSF course and go get your license. Yes, go get it. Go to the MSF. You're going to get some hands-on stuff. Get some hands-on stuff. Hey, Rain or Scarlet, did we do something with the, the, the message deleted with Josh? I just want to make sure it's not Google. If it's Google, YouTube, come on, what are you doing? Because I think they changed it. It used to tell me who would do it. Double checking if one of you guys did it. Just say I. Me, we, whatever. Uh, Syntrax, two, 2044, are you still a fireman? No, no, no. I am not. I am not. Um, I haven't been a firefighter for three years. Yeah, it's, do you see what I see, Raiden? It says, yeah, it says Google Moderator Team. Is that like their... I wonder if it's like the banned words. Because I have banned words. But my banned words are only like, you know, bad stuff. Like saying the F word. Both F words. Uh, saying the N word. Like just those things. Let's see. I just want to make sure. YouTube, if you're in here, what, tell me something. Say something. Yeah, all I have is like sub for sub. Upside down here. Uh... Reading phone, one hand, no hands, F U F F F C C. Yeah, I only have those bad words. That's weird. It's weird. Exactly. So Google moderator team, what are you doing in here? Are you watching me? Are you watching me? Okay, so I, if they're gonna be watching, we gotta get to class. We gotta get to class. Uh let's go ahead and double check everything is good. Oh, one sec, I just got an email. Channel guidelines. Huh. Yeah, see, Gator, it just, it just held it. Really, Matei? All right, we got to we got to get going then. If, if they want to see what we do, then we gotta we gotta show them. Pause the music. We're gonna show them what we do. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Let's get this thing going. We're gonna jump straight into it. We're gonna jump straight into it. Hey Google, if you're watching this, we're gonna get. Oh, sorry, you 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 went on my phone. I'm not gonna say that out loud again. Well, let's go to class. All right, here we go. So if you're watching this YouTube, we, we like to have some fun. We like to be out here in our classroom. We're learning and educating each other on the smart rider principles, seeking out and recognizing hazardous materials. Main, or hazardous materials, I'm thinking of hazmat, hazardous situations, uh, maintaining fundamental skills, uh, acquiring and utilizing personal protective equipment, rescuing other riders with medical training, and then teaching and mentoring others with the smart rider principles. And right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just take a look at this. Let's see what happens here. Some slow speed stuff. You know, we, we got to get right back. We got to get right into it because this is what Google... And YouTube wants to see. We'll we'll jump straight into and we'll we'll do a parking lot practice at the end. How about that? Woo! Here we go. Let's go ahead and start the recording. So today, let me get my watch. Watch me disappear. All right. So today we're going to be going over some motorcycle crashes and close calls. We're going to be utilizing smart rider principles, planning a ride, looking for patterns. And we're going to be using MotoStars as the test material for this. Here we go. All 
are riding really fast. Here we can see having a great time with our buddy. Steve's an almost identical reaction of this bike is surprised by one of the turnings. Okay, so surprise in the turn, possibly going too fast, a little bit wide. We followed because we target fixated. He went down and so did we. So YouTube, this is what we talk about here, okay? I know they like to demonetize. I like to they age restrict all my videos now. Uh, so we we're going a little too fast, going 70 something miles per hour. Pretty much stood it up. We could have kept going. We saw that was easy to go through there. But why did we do that? Why did we go wide? Target fixated, going too fast, panic. Uh, it can happen to the best of us. But here's the thing: it doesn't happen to those that are zoned in at knowing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Bro. And then also those with training, because your training kicks in in those panic what? modes. So we're able to maintain these curves, no maintain these uh, uh, cornering Man. stuff. Hey, look, his phone disappeared. He's using a, a RAM mount. Why me, bro? You guys know what I what I use. Just the link in the description. Oh, my God. Woo. See, the cool thing is that they're both fine. Now, imagine if both of them got injured. So now think, if one of them got injured, would, would you be able to rescue another rider? Would you? Okay, so let's go over this a little bit. Let's go over this a little bit. See, Nightbot even says the Moto Rescue kits are available now. Here we can see two. So here, take a quick look at this. We're going through the mountains, having a great time. Sun's at our back. What factors are involved when it comes to crashing here? Uh, maybe too fast in a corner. Typically, failure to negotiate corners are the reasons why people or is the thing that causes people to crash most of the time. But why? 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 So let's watch what happened again more time so a little bit too wide now you notice how we're able to go around here if we just kept turning well why did we not do that i mean it's kind of the road disappears right so crest of a hill got us spooked out a little bit maybe okay so there's one factor so we're going to go down here we're trying to apply some brake pressure can't do it we're going to go wide and then we're going to go down this little embankment where there's another road okay so we're going to collapse and uh, we're going to double check our buddy which this is our buddy right here so take a look at this this is going to be in the United States, and we are going 80 something miles per hour. So definitely over the speed that this area is meant for. It's probably gonna be like 45, 55. I don't think it's gonna be 65 or 60 plus, especially in the, in the corners like this where they're blind. So we typically have, you know, a problem with speed. Speed, speed typically hurts people. How are we not paying attention to speed? Slow look, press and roll is what you need to be doing in the corners, okay? So slow look, press and roll. Now, why were we not doing slow look, press and roll? Quite possibly, quite possibly, ego, having some fun with our friends. So let's not do that. Let's make sure we ride our own ride. Before we hit the corner, we we're going 70, we we're about 60. Now we're starting to apply some brake pressure. We can't make it. Look at the crest of the hill. Remember, this is the view that this person has. It's scary, 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 scary. Now, all of a sudden, I'm going to upright the bike? Why don't we just commit to it? It's because we're slowing down. Look, at we're 50 now. We went in at 80, down 30 miles per hour. So what do you think is happening? When it comes to traction, it comes to what you need, uh, we have turning, acceleration, deceleration. Deceleration is going to be the braking that he's doing, so 30 miles per hour down below. So we're doing a lot of hard braking. Now, how many times have you, let's see, let's think about it. You're trying to do three things at once. Are you going to be good at th all three things? Like really good? No. So if you're braking, you're not going to be good at turning. If you're braking, you're obviously not going to be good at acceleration. So if you're braking this hard, your turns are going to be a little bit harder, uh, actually a lot harder, and I have a feeling that's what happened here. We applied the brakes, and we just started going straight. Going too fast, brakes going straight. No buenos. No buenos. Now he's going to go ahead and start that low side, but then he kept it up, and then he's going to go forward right here and then fall down. So this is why we have full gear, everybody. Make sure you have full gear. Now, they are very lucky they didn't hit those trees, um, but make sure... You're not speeding. Make sure you're not speeding and change that out. Okay. Koi is 1995, member for what? two months, crew member. Hi, lots of respect from Cyprus. Did you watch Cyprus, it? wow. Yeah, that's what happened. So this is what we do, YouTube. We go over this after action review process. Okay, that's all we do. We don't glorify, we don't glorify the accidents. What do you want me to address? Dead rabbit, slow look, press and slow look, press and roll can kill you. Is outdated and dangerous. I would love, hey, I would love to have you, no, Doctor Dead Rabbit. Come on, come on up here. Come on, come on up here. What? Where are you going? Where are you going? 
No, come, come, go ahead and teach the class. Go ahead and teach the class. Slow the press and roll can kill. It's outdated. So then please offer a solution to the rest of the class. I would love to hear your solution. Love to hear your solution. Because here's the thing. When you start saying stuff like, hey, this will do something for, to you. It'll, it'll damage you. It'll kill you. Hey, don't do this. Then what is it that we're supposed to do? Okay, we'll come back to you. Here we go. Moving on. Our one rider almost rear-ended by Civic. Okay, this music, Moto Stars. This Moto... Come on. All right. So almost got taken out by a Civic big group ride. Now, this is, I believe, North County. So this is North County Riders. Is that California? Is this California, everybody? I would love to know. All right, so let's just skip this. Nathan, don't use that that footage. All right, all right. So we got a response. Dead rabbit says trail breaking. If you can't do that, then don't head to the canyons. Okay. All right. So now we have your position. We have my position. Now we can actually have a discussion. So your position is going to be trail breaking. Okay, I understand. That's a great. Uh, tool to be used in the canyon, especially for turning. It's it's meant for turning. So uh, you didn't give an explanation, but here's the thing: when you apply some uh, progressive brake pressure just a little bit prior to the turn, you're going to have your front end a little bit of weight on that tire. So now you have a preloaded front end, and then when you make that turn, you're going to have more traction because you have more weight and traction and weight friction, all that stuff, and you can make the turn a little bit easier. Now here's the thing. You have to think about who we're talking to here. So if you're saying slow press and roll is deadly and will kill you, that's a pretty bold statement. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and counter that by saying slow look, press and roll. Uh, trail breaking is a part of slow look, press and roll. What do you, what do you think uh, the slow part is? You, just, you extend the slow part through just a little bit more, and that's what you have is trail breaking. So you still have to look, right? So trail breaking versus slow look, press and roll doesn't hit every marker. So you're telling me just trail break, you don't look. Do you press? Do you roll? What else do you do? What's the acronym for trail breaking that's going to be utilizing all aspects of the motorcycle? You see how it starts to fall apart? You see how it starts to not work very well and how it's just a component of slow look, press, and roll? Because you still have to do quite a bit. You have to slow down prior to the turn. Go ahead and initiate uh, trail breaking right there. You're going to be turning, so you're looking. You're going to turn, look. You're still trail breaking, right? You're going to go ahead and press to initiate counter steering, and then you're going to roll on the throttle on the way out. Are you trail braking all the way through? No, about halfway, a little bit, of, little, maybe a little bit more, but then you roll on the throttle at some point, okay? So do you think trail braking, now I'm going to throw this out to you, and we're going to get back to class. Uh, trail braking is extremely dangerous and can kill you. Let's see your argument for that. All right. Here we go. Pirate X riding through here. Okay, almost got hit by that weird driver. What is demanding crew to beat one of these riders twice? Okay, twice? So he's using his GPS just like I do. I love it. So he knows that he has a turn to the right, so he's going to slow down right here. You see on the GPS. And then now he's going to make that turn. Oh, oh. On it. Oh, no. Did, did she hit him? North San Diego County, Saraza. Oh, okay. I just didn't like the music. There you go. Good job lifting it up that way. Last thing you want to do is have a lingering back issue for the rest of your life just because you picked it up wrong. Okay. C'est bon? Ouais. Ouais, Denis. Was that a bonk? Scarlett, you think that's a bonk? Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? She bonked him? I think she bonked him. Let's go back just a little bit. I think she bonked him a little bit. All right, so let's take a look at this. So if we have... Uh, a stop sign coming up, and you can see it right here. You see that he's supposed to turn to the right. That's what I love the GPS. So typically, you're like, what do, where do I go? Where do I go? And you have to like look down. You have to do some things. But look at this. You get like a G G Y. You get like a, a GUI, uh, the UX and everything, um, or UI. It's really cool. You can see where you're going. I use my rock form. I believe this is quad lock. You get what you need. So we're going to come up to here. We're going to do a nice sharp turn. This is a very sharp turn. So set yourself up nice and wide going around here. Now, this is not very wide. You notice how we're kind of angled towards this way, and we got to make a right-handed turn. Set yourself up for success a little bit. Now watch this. <laughs> I think he just uh, did some uh, throttle control, some friction zone, a little bit like that. Okay? But now she fell down. So she fell down. 
So what is it that we did wrong here? We talk about that on motorcycle training concepts. We talk about how to do a tight turn from a stop. Okay, tight turn from a stop is going to help you in this situation. So you can practice in a parking lot to get yourself situated, but then it's going to be very useful over there on these tight turns, especially if there's traffic. You don't want to be taking your time slowly, taking your time, and then traffic comes and hits you. You want to be able to do it. So this is also a good spot to practice if there is no traffic. So teach yourself, make sure you're focused, and then here's the thing, treat every single one of these situations as practice. So we're going to get up to here, and she fell. Okay, so here's the thing. Position yourself for safety, right? So just like rescuing another rider, you have to remain calm, ensure your own safety. Boom, right here. We're remaining calm. We didn't dump the bike right here. Ensure your own safety over there. So here's the way to lift. Very good. She probably watched the video that we have on motorcycle training concepts. Uh, we're going to lift with our legs. We're going to grab it like that so that way we, we can do more of a deadlift. So doing a very good job. Now, one thing I would do before I did that, um, if, especially if you're having trouble breathing, just take your helmet off because you're high anxiety. Just take your helmet off and then pick up the bike. Beginner Guida, she needs better gear. She's going to keep doing that. Hey, we got beginner gear list in the description. ddfcrew.com slash beginner gear. Great stuff. Um, Sir Masterin, uh, do I think she just panic braked too aggressively? I think she got up to the stop sign and then uh, turned the handlebars and just fell over because it's a slow speed mistake. Maybe used the front brake and fell over. All right, so we're moving on with this one. Pirate X, same person, same ride. Okay, we're getting up to a stop sign. We're gonna do another left-handed turn. Now, what's gonna happen here? I think that's what happened last time. I think that's what happened last time. So what did we see right there? As a new rider yourself, and we're, let's pretend we're in class right now, and you're watching the riders out on the, on the range right now doing their stuff, and one of them dropped their bikes. Uh, what do you, what is it that you see? What is it that you could have done a little bit differently? What is it that, you know, uh, you saw them do that was a mistake that would have prevented this if they didn't do it? Attends, Write it in the comments because that is one of the things that we do here. We are trying to teach and mentor each other. But let's take a quick look at what happened exactly. Let's go ahead and let's get out of the way. Let's get out of the way. Attends, All right, so we're getting into the turn. Handlebars are turned. That's the moment of mistake right there. What is it we typically see with this? Now, maybe a short rider can't get a good foot plant. Short rider. Right, Alex? They actually just started making platform shoes for motorcycle riders, which honestly are needed. Uh, seat too tall. Okay, so how do we manage a motorcycle that is a little too tall for us? We practice, practice, practice our slow speed maneuvers. Slow speed maneuvers make it to where you don't have to really put your feet down. So if we needed to, uh, we could stop, but make sure you put uh, at least one foot down and then come to a stop. It looks like we didn't have anything planted before we did that. No, no, no. Now, the hand, you see the handlebars? I see it right here with Winston. Winston says, braked with the wheel, turn to the left. Now, uh, we did talk about that in the braking video on motorcycle training concepts, where if you have your handlebars turned uh, to the side and then you apply the brakes, you're going to fall to that side. So if you have it turned over here. So let's do this. So if you turn over here, you apply the brakes, you're going to fall to that side. So make sure when you come to a stop, you straighten it up, look forward, look at the horizon, and then squeeze those brakes and make sure you get at least one foot down. That's going to help you out. But it's just a, a normal beginner mistake. Now twice in one day, let's call it a day then. Let's call it a day. Let's not ride anymore. We're doing slow speed mistakes. Let's not turn them into high speed mistakes. And let's get her confidence back up. And let's not, she's probably exhausted already. Let's leave it as is. Let's go home, right? Alex Del Fiaco, welcome to the crew. Guys, if you want to become a crew member, click that join button. Whew. Here we go. So maybe the best not to lane split when you have a wide chopper. Okay, it's not that wide, but yeah, I can see what you mean. All right, so moving on. Not doing good with the, okay, we're doing fine. What are we going back for? What are we going back for? What are we Flintstoning it? Okay. But you couldn't make, oh. What was that, Moto Stars? This guy had plenty of room. Let's move on. That was kind of weird. 
yeah, okay, he just didn't navigate that very well. Didn't thread the needle. All right, so one of the issues, watch out for that. Let's move on. No, he didn't hit the car, Dave. Did not hit the car. Just weird. All right, so Rich 675. Here we go, going through a turn. A little bit wide, but you know, we have the whole lanes. Sun in the eyes, sun in the eyes, boom, right there. Can't see, can't see what's going on. Oh, shite. Got a little close. They got a little close. Now, that's one of those environmental factors. Environmental factors will get you, and this is what we need to be paying attention to. So just take a look. Boom, we got hit in the side of the head with that light. We see that right here. These lanes are going to go ahead and disappear. We got a big sun coming from uh, Moto Stars, so we're gonna come around this corner, and you see the light shining right there. It's not good. It's not good. That's not what you want to do. So we're gonna get even further. Put the bike in a very difficult situation. And there's that light in the eyes. You're gonna have some massive issues when it comes to that. You don't want to be too close to the sun. Well, of course you're gonna burn, but <laughs> you don't want to be staring at it. Okay, don't stare at it. So when I have something like this, and I have the big sun glare and it's shooting straight at me. What are some of the constants that you have on this road that you know will dictate where the road is going? You got this line. You got this line. You got that line. You got the curve. So if you have certain constants like a line, look at you can kind of see it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this line. Look at where that line is. You can kind of see it. So look towards the line, don't look at the light. So keep an eye on the line, keep an eye on the line. Stay next to the line over here. Try your best to stay next to the line, and you at least know where you can go. So that's my big tip for those of you. Dustin, welcome to the crew. That's my big tip. That's what she said. Uh, we're going to barely navigate it. Good job rolling up throttle, applying some progressive brake pressure in a turn to save yourself from having a crash. But I have a feeling that situation that right there is what got us. So I always tell you guys, watch out. Watch out for that sun. And you can see some stuff ahead of time. Here we go. DRZB. All right, bad spot, no line of sight, terrible plan of a ride. There's going to be that pattern that we typically could see if we were sitting further back, but we didn't see that right here. But that's exactly what happened. His lane is moving, that lane isn't. We're going to move over. Sorry. Cool. I didn't mean to. And he didn't mean to. Sold, I didn't arm air him. Uh, okay. All right. All right, whatever. We're gonna talk about this real quick. Let's go back just a little bit. We're not gonna spend too much time on this one because we talk about patterns all the time. Now, right here though, I don't like this plan. I don't like it. This is our space cushion. I don't like that space cushion. It's not, it's not big enough for me. Now, at this speed, okay, oh, okay, I get it, I get it. It, it, it's okay. We have an escape path over here. We don't have an escape path over here. Okay, not too bad, but what's our line of sight? Remember, we're looking for line of sight, space cushions, and escape paths. Line of sight is always going to be my number one. Line of sight is very important because if you can't see anything, you're not going to dodge it. Okay? So be over here in lane position one because then you can see around the vehicle and it'll be nice and easy. Or increase the space cushion. So go back a little bit and increase the space cushion. Now the pattern that we see here, we typically see it when we have a nice open area, like super far space cushion, is this lane right here is stacked. It is absolutely stacked. Now, this lane that we're in is moving nice and smooth. So when we see something like this, big long line, big open line, so this is all taken up, people are going to want to come over into our lane. Now, if we know that people want to come into our lane, now what is the problem? Staying in people's blind spots. So when we see that we're going into a blind spot, we see that there's this pattern here, we see that we have a nice escape route, just take the escape route, just go into the next lane, get away from all these people. Treat other vehicles like they have the cooties, okay? If you've never had the cooties, you're lucky. I got them all the time when I was a kid. All right. That's the thing, look, there's the pattern. So you did a good job with the braking, did a good job noticing it, but you also have that escape path if you needed it. Cool. There we go. Big open lane. Exactly, Mark. Exactly. All right. Let's see. Uh-oh. Situation. That's some dry brush. Standing far too close to the burning bike, being completely under. That's some dry brush. If you can, just grab the handlebars and drag. Oh, that's too late. Ask me. He feels it. The radiant heat on that is too much. So this probably looks like California, maybe, <laughs> right now, on fire. 
so how did we? What did we? What was back there? Was that a bike? How did how did a bike get back there? Everybody, did you notice what? Were, were we on a turn? Were we? Yeah, scoot back. You're gonna feel that radiant heat. Anybody been next to a, a large bonfire and you're like, oh man, I can't, I can't, you know, get close. Uh, yeah. So imagine all those wildland firefighters fighting fires that are this close. So that wasn't really an explosion. Okay, I'll take that back. It was an explosion. Um, but the thing is, it's not like in the movies. All that was uh, gas vapor, uh, the gasoline. Oh, we got the firefighters. No, nope, it's just burned too much. It's burned a lot. It burned itself out. Uh, but yeah, when it's on fire like that, just just get away from it. There's nothing you could do. You can't you can't kick enough dirt on that. You can't put enough water on that. You this is outside your scope. This is outside your scope. Let's take a look though. So here's the thing. We're we're on fire right here. Look at the road. Look at the road right here. Now let's go back to when he kind of looked. Brigade. Bike be. When he looked down the the way. Brigade. Okay. So what happened? What happened? How did the bike get on the other side of the guardrail? We're coming down here. Oh, you can kind of see a little bit. I don't know if that's from this crash. But we just talked about going too fast in a curve. Going too fast in a curve, riding with their buddies, not using our Cardo Pack Talk bolds or slims or free comms or, or the JBL speakers to talk to each other and say, hey, hooligans, slow it down. We didn't do that. We were just going to keep hauling ass and going wide. Okay? That should be a sticker. It should be a shirt. Hauling ass and going wide. I think Max Risk can Go ahead, Max Risk. Go ahead and have that one. That's a free one. I'm sure you'll sell quite a bit. Max Risk. Right, here, we go. here we go. We're moving through here. Oh, there's a side of the vehicle. Uncommon thing in a common situation. Slow it down. You should have slowed it down a little bit sooner. That's perfectly fine, though. You did a good job with those brake pressure. Don't have a rock form, but it's whatever. It's, it's whatever. So let's take a quick look at this one. All right, so we have an uncommon thing in a common situation. You see, you start seeing that side of the vehicle, but there's no intersection. Right here is when we perceive, we should react also. We should react. So let's get the pen out. Let's get me a little bit bigger here. That's what she said. Uh, we got this. Right here, this is our total stopping distance. We need to perceive, react, and then break. That equals total stopping distance. So we're breaking, we're breaking, we're breaking, we're breaking, we're breaking. We should be able to slow down enough to allow this uncommon thing to, to happen, right? Because we also want to buy ourselves some time just in case we had to swerve. So now we downshifted, downshifted. Now we're breaking. Now I understand, I get the question quite a bit. Should I break? Should I downshift? Should I do this? In an emergency, pull in that clutch, apply progressive brake pressure. Now, when you get back to where you need to use some throttle, then you find your gear. Go ahead and downshift to what you think it should be. We we're in four, uh, 40 right here, so maybe you're downshift into 30, or not 30, into, into third gear. So downshift to third gear, have a mental note of what gear you're in, and then go ahead and go. So pay attention to what's behind you, too. you got to watch out. Wear some full gear just in case you didn't see this ahead of time and crash into the side of the vehicle, which can easily happen. Uh, but get yourself out of danger. Get yourself out of danger. Go ahead and get around. Okay, don't gun it, but make a maneuver. Get yourself out of there. Did a good job. There it is. See, did a good job. Handled it very well and moved on. But the thing is, you need to see that pattern. So let's see it again. Side of the vehicle, uncommon thing in a common situation. Orient yourself to the whole situation. That's part of this. Okay, you see the sides of the vehicles all the time, wherever you're at. You know, they're in parking lots when you're driving by. But if you're oriented to the situation, you know where you are in time and space. You know that this road continues going. There's no, at all, there's no intersection. So why is this happening? That should tell you, uncommon thing in a common situation. We're not supposed to be able to do that. So when that happens, go into orange stage, slow it down, cover those brakes, cover the clutch, look for escape paths, start slowing down because you never know when you need to actually stop. You can always get some more speed later. It's okay. You can get some more. It's always fun. Just do that. Okay. All right. That's it.
Hooey, look twice, save my life. Okay, here we go. Beautiful clouds. I love that. Are we gonna see the side of the vehicle right there? Yep, a little bit. Okay, good. Slow it down. Go ahead and switch. Okay, they're switching lanes. Very good. Maintain our lane position. We're doing fine. His phone fell off. What is up with everybody with, with their phone mounts and no phones? Did you see me? No, didn't probably didn't see. I barely saw him through the, the shield. Barely saw him through the shield. And that's one reason why I don't like shields. You can't see anything. Look at that. It's like all blurry. Even if you take care of it, I just don't like it. I mean, I like small shields. I like the super small ones, but not this one. Plus, I get that head buffer. Anybody here? When you're, when you're riding with, with a, uh, a shield like this, or sorry, yeah, windshield, don't you get like that, you get that wind right here. You get the wind right there. I would rather get it all around instead of just on my head and I'm like doing this, trying to drive. All right, I don't know why I was talking about that. All right, so side of the vehicle pulls out, boom, and we have a trailer. So as soon as we see this, go ahead and decelerate. Go ahead and decelerate. That's it, and that's all he did. He got himself out of there. Now, you don't have to do this next part. See, I see Gator Guido, that's weird. It held for review, but it's not gonna mess up. So just don't do this part. Did you see me? It's not an issue. There. So Dr. Mustada, Dr. Mustada. There's that side of the vehicle. Go ahead and navigate around that. Oh, we're gonna, one sec, we're gonna power through this. A little interesting so we're coming up to an intersection we should be in orange stage it is green for us to go but remember green does not always mean go right now it means you have the ability to go and you kind of have the legal right to go i guess uh but if it's not safe to do so i don't care about legalities i really don't care about legalities but good job on navigating that threat you got the side of the vehicle good thing you also have those sides of the vehicles you see how he's going to get to the other side doing very good now we're hauling ass through here. Let's take a quick look. Let's go back a little bit and let's see what happens. So side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle. We're going to flip them off. Okay, look forward. You never know if another one's going to pop out. Okay, we got more. Here we go. So we're going to have a merging issue. I don't see any intersections coming up. We got the big van merging. We got, okay, intersection. That's a non-issue. We're hauling ass in this environment. Okay, don't haul ass in the environment. The guy was pretty far away. Okay. Uh, there it is. Big long line. Empty line for us. We should have seen that coming. We should have been in orange stage for that. All right, Dr. Mustada, here we go. We got some sun in the eyes. There's the side of the vehicle. Yeah, I'm gonna, the horn, yeah. you got lucky. You got so lucky. And we got multiple bikes because we're probably crashing them all. Um, moving through here, lane filtering. Nice big bike. Hi, little guy. But we're cool with kids. You know, that's all that matters. We're, we're, we might be terrible at riding, but we're amazing with kids, all right? Oh, there it is, there's another one. All right. Moving on with this, here we go. Mustada, here we go, watch out, big open lane for us. We got sides of the vehicles. Are we gonna attempt to just force it? Oh, yes, we are. We're gonna go ahead and block everything off and put ourselves in harm's way to, to have a nice little chat with them. All right. Yeah, uh huh, yep. Yeah. Here we go, another bike. Oh, oh, pedestrian's on his phone. We're just hauling ass through the intersection, not really caring. And do, uh, do we have a passenger? How many arms do we have? I think that's a girl. I think he's got a girl in the back. All right, another one. Hey, Dr. Mustada, here's the thing. If you are the common denominator in all these, more than likely, you could do something about it. Whoa, 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 Why did I missed that. Did he just kick a dog? Are you kidding me? Maximus, here we go. Riding through at nighttime, low visibility, multiple different kinds of hazards. The only real ones we have are merging. We got a lot of brake lights, a lot of brake lights up ahead. So careful, start rolling off the throttle. 
would switch lanes if you need to. Lots of brake lights, lots of brake lights. All right, slow it down. You never know. Oh, is that a motorcycle down? Are you gonna rescue him? Or is that a trailer? Are we, are we driving a jet? All right, we're going 90 miles per hour. We're back into open area. Okay. So one of the only things that you have to really worry about at night is low visibility. Now I was pointing out, okay, look at this. So you see just kind of red lights, some running lights. You got some running lights, you got some running lights, you got some running lights. And then up ahead, look at all those, all that red. Look at all the red up ahead. That's, that should give you a little bit of a cause for concern. A little bit of red is okay. A lot of red is bad. So think about that also when you're bleeding to rescue another rider. A lot of red is bad. A little red is, is, is okay. So good job maneuvering around it. I think that's a trailer. Looks like a trailer. Well, either way, we had to uh, adapt to the situation and move out of it. So it did a great job, saw it ahead of time. Jeez, pull the rib doing that. Ah, here we go, moving on, ride free, okay. Watch out if you're gonna be switching lanes. Okay, uh, we have a roundabout, so we're gonna have a merging problem. So there's the side of the vehicle, and there's the merging problem. A good job navigating that. Got himself out of that situation. So acceleration into an escape path can be useful. You don't always have to brake, and that was an example of accelerating into the, the uh, uh, escape path. So we're getting into here, and that's when as soon as we see something because we see that this person can only go into my lane so we have an escape path over here so what we're going to do is we're going to aim for it but we need to get there quick we have the ability to do it we're not in the middle of a turn anymore we're going straight so swerve and then accelerate through because you don't know what they're going to do so it did a great job with that escape path good job great example all right, so Jigsaw Pat, here we go. Beep, beep. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. All right, lots of people turning left at this intersection. We got people waiting to turn right, and we got somebody coming right at us. Yeah, didn't see us, did ya? So nothing you could have done in that situation other than wear gear. So make sure you guys are wearing gear so you don't get hit by anything, all right? Or get damaged by the hit. So Harley Mick. All right, you gotta watch out for the second. Watch out for the second. Hey, just because you get past one doesn't mean another is not gonna happen. So we got a dum-dum there. We're not looking. Oh, now we gotta squeeze that brake because another dum-dum's doing it. Okay, so stop staring at the people that do stuff. You're like you're going over here flipping them off and then you're like, oh crap. And that's usually what happens when you uh, crash. You panic break. You do something. All right. All right. Here we go. Harley Mick, another. Okay. Side of the vehicle, non-issue. Good job braking. Good job braking. Should be a non-issue. The end. Moto Stars, you you're welcome. You're welcome. I I appreciate you being a part of this organization by letting us use all your videos. Through fair use, obviously. All right. Let's get the next one up. Because I, I think Google's watching. I think Google's watching. I think Google's watching. Shoot. Here, here, here's a free one. Okay, Google. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, hey Siri, subscribe to Dan Dan the Fireman. I don't know if that works. I don't think it is. Um, yeah, uh, do these people send in or plug from YouTube? Moto Stars. It's Moto Stars. Uh, we're doing, uh, an educational aspect to Moto Stars. Whew. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Discord, which, by the way, everybody can join for free. 
check out the Off Topic Lounge. All right. Hey, Roy, Taco Cat, Neko. Let's go see what they're doing in the lounge. Right? Let's go do it. Just making sure the mic is on. All right. Because <laughs> that's that'd be a little weird if it wasn't. Uh, where is everybody? Where's there? I, I see uh, Zaraza. I see Zaraza. Um, do all the rookies not allowed to be in here? I said I said the rookies can play in here. Oh, they keep farting and burping. Yeah, it's so immature. So immature. We're gonna get back to class. We're gonna be talking about another set of motorcycles crashing and stuff and all these crazy things from Moto Stars. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna be talking about uh, what to do. You know, to rescue another rider, how to prevent the crash, and what fundamental skills you need so you don't do what these people are doing. Right, Zaraza? I see you. I see you in there. Now let's get back to class. Whew. Feeling good today. Feeling good today. <sighs> Beggars uh, asking, what do I write? Let's turn on the music. Let's, let's, uh, let's hang out for a little bit. What do I ride? I ride the Indian FTR 1200S. Let's go ahead and throw that up on the screen. Indian FTR 1200S. Boom. That's the bike I ride. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, are you familiar with the European license rule? You have three licenses, A1, A2, and A. I'm going to get my A1 license, but ride an A2 motorcycle. That's why I'm usually... That's why I'm really learning to not crash uninsured. Get insurance, man. Get insurance. Get insurance. We've done uh, last week, the last week of July, we were doing some sponsored uh, videos for progressive insurance. Check out any video from July 26th to the 30th and click the link and get yourself a free quote. Okay? You're over there eating. Got to go cook dinner and head to work. Have fun, y'all. From Sean. Hey, I've seen, I remember your name. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in a while. I ride on a blind road like that every day. Have you ever ridden on a deaf road before? Just wondering. Um, sign in, everyone. 321 watching, only 185 likes. It's That's right. You guys got to sign in. Sign. Look, at, there's a sign-in sheet right over there. Sign in. Somebody, somebody do exclamation point sign in because that is going to help the bot figure out what's supposed to happen. Okay? Sweet, I'll check out the, yep, 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 yep. Buying a Sportster S Centaur. Put some pictures. Post some pictures in the Moto Media, your Moto Media section on the Discord. The next Moto Stars clip at 3.34, you'll see something that happens this Monday. Kevin, I sheed my pants. 3.34? Is this you, Kevin? Is this you? I think uh, the sign-in's already working. You ran out of ink speed limit? Or you're over there. Speed limit. Uh, just get a couple rookies. Hey, let me get my drink real quick. All right, this is Kevin. Let's take a quick look. Let's do Kevin first. Let's do Kevin first. What happened there? What the heck? Hmm. Uh, I spilled. I got a hole in my lip. Can one of you get? Yep. <laughs> I know I'm stepping on it, but just just clean around my feet. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Bike was really lucky to. Hey, you're going fast. You got your speedo blurred. It's the mistake of the rider going from the opposite direction. All right. So nice. You got knee down. Okay. Going 70 now. You forgot to blur that part, dude. Oh, oh, good job navigating that. Good job navigating that. 10 inches. I should know. <laughs> um, your phone stayed on. That's good. You almost got me. 
Hey, looks like you guys got Bluetooth systems. Very good. Very good. Very good. We're going to go over that. We're going to go over that at the beginning. Let's go all the way to the beginning. It's not, it's kilometers per hour. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and pause the music. 216 people signed in. That's not enough. Let's hit 300 right now. And also, if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. We, po we, we, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time now. We changed it from 3 to 2. We're doing it every week, twice a week. We have videos go out every single day. Why aren't you subscribed? Subscribe. Okay? All right. All right. Here we go. I do have a drinking problem. Uh, not that kind. Of All right, let's go back. Let's go to the beginning. Let's go to the beginning. Yeah, okay. Whoa, this one's going to be good. Here we go. Eric, how you doing, man? How you doing? Whoa. All right, this one's going to be good. Here we go. We're riding around with friends. Keeping a safe distance contributed to excessive braking and blocking of the front wheel. Oh, I have a feeling that was more of a white stage maneuver. Oh, there's his knee. We have uh, a white stage. We weren't paying attention. We, oh. Reminds me of like a uh, family guy. He's like, ah, ah. Let's take a look. Keep so we're going through here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moto stars. Moto stars. I know you're saying it was not enough space cushion. I have a, this is a, okay, I get that. That's part of the problem. Not enough space cushion. Uh, but it's going to be where we weren't paying attention. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's white staged over there, okay? Unaware and unprepared, zoned out. And you can see it in his movements, okay? So let's take a quick look. Breaking. We're going through here, and we weren't doing nothing. So the space cushion magically disappeared, but we're not applying brakes. We're not slowing down. And when do we start? We're going 81. Let's go back just a little bit. We're going 81. 62. So we sped up. This sounds contributing. So speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. 81. It's supposed to be a 50. We're, we're speeding now. Blocking of the front wheel. That's when we perceived and react. We perceived and reacted way too late. Way too late. So that's what happens when you are white staged. You are perceiving way too late. Therefore, your reaction is going to be too late. Therefore, your total stopping distance is going to be further than what you currently have. Right now, this is your braking distance. You probably needed. Probably like that much to stop in time. So in this position, what do we do? Why is everybody stopped in the first place? You'd be able to talk to each other in your cardos and be like, hey, you know, we're going to stop here. That would have given the people in the back a little bit more room to play with. But what can we do as soon as we see this? You're going to have to do something. I know you got this vehicle right here, but you got to do something. You're not going to stop in time. Now, here's the thing. You're probably not going to be able to do any of this stuff. So what is it that we can do to prevent this whole situation? Stay in the yellow stage. Stay in yellow stage. Zone in. Be prepared for anything. Anything, anything, anything. If we can't do that, we're going to hit people. And if we're going to hit people, we need to have gear. We need to have protective gear. All right? So when we crash, oh, look, that's not the wrong, that's the wrong button. Wheel. When we crash like that, how did we do that? We slammed that front brake, lost traction on the front tire, and it slipped up, out from underneath us, and we fell down. We didn't have gloves. There's the hands getting scraped up. And there's the knee. So why is it the left knee? There's some road rash on it already. Why is it the left knee? We fell down to our left. So if we fell down to our left, that is what you call mechanism of injury when it's coupled definitely with that injury. So we see this, we're going to fall to our left, so I'm assuming left side injury. And so when we see him walk around like this, you see the left side, he's guarding it already, he recognizes the pain. We see that, there's nothing really on the right side. I, so now all I'm concerned about, since it was a low speed single vehicle accident, there's the road rash. So YouTube, please don't de demonetize, don't age restrict this, please. This right here. That is level one and level two road rash right there. So that you see that discoloration in the middle, that's level two probably. All this is actually probably level two. That little itty bitty red mark, that's level one. That's like the bad sunburn. Anybody uh, burned themselves and had a nice blister? That's pretty much what that is right there. 
Now, what do we have right on our knees? Right on our knees in motorcycle gear. We have impact protection. We have armor. We have Kevlar reinforcements. We can withstand something like this. You might have like a sore knee, but you're not going to have this. So make sure we are wearing full gear. Link is in the description for some gear. Rabbit. Be a smart rider. Okay? All right. Here we go. Woo! Riding around this truck decides to use my lane as a turning lane. Okay. All right. Uncommon thing in a common situation. We have headlights and the front grill in our lane. Good job on Grom Squatch for recognizing that uncommon thing in a common situation. Now imagine if you weren't paying attention, Grom. What do you think would have happened if you weren't paying attention? What do you think would have happened, class? Oh, what the All right, so we're gonna go through here. Yep, we see that something uncommon in a common situation. We have somebody wanting to use this as a turn lane. That's what Grom Squatch said, so we're gonna go with that. And that's pretty much what happened here. But when we are dri uh, riding in our lane and we see headlights and a grill inside the lane, we have a problem. So we have to slow it down. Hopefully they're not moving. Slow it down and switch lanes. So he did exactly what we, you needed to do. But the thing is you have to recognize it. Now imagine if we didn't recognize it until like right here and we we're like, oh crap, we slammed that front brake and we dumped it right here. And we started sliding and sliding until we stopped right here and then he just goes on with his day. That's pretty much what would have happened. So make sure you don't panic. Make sure you're zoned in. Grom Squatch was zoned in. Went to orange stage, saw something what? was happening. Dude. Boom, left it. Seriously? Did a good job. Now you could say all the stuff you want in your head. That's fine. That's fine. Nobody got hurt. That's all I care about. Dude. Yeah, did. All right, here we go. Z-Biker, having some fun, 110 something. Nice and low. Okay, nice and low side of the vehicle. We have path to travel violations. There you go. He, he was gonna swerve to the right because that's where the opening was happening. The person stopped and that gap never really came to fruition. So he had to change the plan and swerve left. So he did a great job. I don't know if he's speeding or not. I don't know what the road is rated for, but we're going 100 and 10 right into that intersection. So Jake the Snaker, 01 with the $5 donation, appreciate that. We're gonna go through here, okay? So 110, 112, 115, 120, we're slowing down now. This is the moment we see the side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle. We also have an intersection. So what stage should we be in? We should be in orange stage coming around that corner. We should still be in orange stage anyways because corners are notoriously dangerous for motorcycle riders and intersections. So this is like doubly doubly dangerous all right so we're moving through here we see one we're gonna see another now we got to make a choice we anticipate this driver to keep going so we're gonna go behind the driver basically with that swerve but that's not what happened we're gonna get through here and the driver stopped there's nowhere to go and he already attempted his first initial swerve now if we're going slower we can make the adjustment sooner so if we're going faster we make the adjustment later and we have to be quicker. So if you go fast on your bike, you got to be quicker at everything else. So when we see this, and he's going to go forward, oh crap, i got to make my decision change and move my butt the other way, which did a great job. Now we're going to do a massive swerve to the left. Please stay. Don't move. And then he swerved. Now I would have taken up this lane since I know that nobody's coming. I would have taken up this lane and not make it so close. But you know what? I don't know what I'm saying. This guy did a good job. He did a good job. Moving on with that. Good swerve. Whoa. That. Thank you, Jake the Snake. Here we go. Moving through. Chuckster. I would not lane filter a boat. That was tight. Yes, Just it was. Uncertain. <laughs> that for the biker, not right, I'm not going to say that. From the like mirror, that but he had anymore. also his foot run over. <laughs> oh, oh! What the heck? He got his foot ran over. So. This was the whole situation right here. We're going to be lane filtering a boat and a semi, or not semi, in a, in a SUV. And we're going through here, lane filter. Ooh, that's too that close. Tight. Okay, so here's the thing. A big trailer takes up a lot of that space. Okay, a big trailer takes up a lot of that space. That's why it was tight in the first place. 
So why would we stop on the line and have our feet kind of dangle out? Your foot's going to get ran over. This is why we need to orient ourselves to the situation. We didn't put ourselves in a good position for safety. Oh, it's tight. So we're going to stop right here. And that for the biker, not only with a scratch on the mirror, but he had also his foot run over. You can only have your foot run over if your foot's on the ground. So don't put your foot on the ground uh, and do that. So you should have been like this person, have a nice space cushion in between. Now, obviously, Chuckster did not mean to get his foot ran over, so I hope you're doing fine. Um, at that weight, um, hopefully your motorcycle boots will protect you, but probably not. Uh, if anything, it's just going to prevent your feet from getting completely smashed, which is a real possibility. Hope he's doing fine. Hope he's doing fine, but position yourself a little better just like that person, okay? Here we go. Moving through here, Gavin. Ooh. What's this? Um, oh, sheep. Good job navigating that, but a little too fast for the environment. I'd be watching out for these blind corners. Um, it's kind of weird to see. It's, it's kind of weird to see uh, when people do high-speed stuff around these corners. And I have a feeling a lot of it has to do with complacency. It's like it hasn't happened to me yet, so it's not going to happen. So I'm going to keep getting faster and faster and faster around these corners. And typically when you get faster and faster and faster around these corners, your ego gets even bigger and bigger and bigger to where it's like I'm getting better as a rider because I'm going faster. No, it's, it, there's nothing bad has happened to you yet. You need to pay attention and watch out for these close calls and watch these so that you know not to do stuff like this. That was a blind corner. Going a little fast on blind corners. You don't know what's around the corner. All right? Blind hedge. We got somebody coming out. You couldn't anticipate that. So he did a great job swerving, but you can't see what's happening around this corner now. This corner, got look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. You gotta watch out for this blind corner. That's the new thing. Let's just not speed around it. Gator, you keep triggering the bot. Stop cussing. All right? Keep triggering it. All right, here we go. Bionet moving through here. Going to turn left. Okay. Oh, good job seeing that. Now, why did we not see that ourselves? Let's, let's do some uh, human psychology and optical illusion type stuff. So look at all the lights. You see how everything is. Okay, we can't see anything. Can't see anything. Now we're going to go ahead and go. Where'd that guy come from? Why did we not see that? Aljamain, exactly. Line of sight. Hopefully I said that right. Line of sight. We can't see around this. Now, we can't see, but hopefully the rider could, and maybe the rider just made a mistake. So we can't see around it ourselves, and then there's that vehicle out of nowhere. Now, is this vehicle speeding? Probably. I have a feeling this vehicle's speeding. So take a look at the speed of the other vehicles. So let's take a look at this speed, okay? Not too bad. Well, let's go back a little bit more. Not too bad. Not fast. Not fast. Now watch this. I think that vehicle was speeding through the intersection to beat the light. So always watch out for those dum-dums. Now we can take that and turn it around. Let's turn it around. And we're speeding now through intersections. And we have a left turner ready to go and sees us way over there. Sees cars way over there. Oh, I can make this, and then they go. But you're over here doing double the speed limit, and you get there quick, and then you T-bone them, and you blame the freaking car driver. That happens all the time. They can't see us. They can't judge us. This is at, uh, at dusk. You can't see much. Same, same concepts, same principles here. If you're hauling ass through an intersection, people can't judge you and see how fast or where you are, and they're going to make a decision based off of what they know, and they're not going to be expertly trained. They're not smart riders. Let's get more car drivers in here. Maybe we can get some smart riders. Got to watch out for that. Don't speed through intersections. Don't speed in areas where people can pull out because they're making judgments based off the speed they think you're going. And right here, this is the exact thing. We think that person's way over there. Nope. Came up on us quick because they were hauling ass. Same thing. 
right, here we go. Morning Lion Industries. It's like the way his attention was drawn, so he... Side of the vehicle. Test the rider's patience a bit. Nope. They're just going slow. They're just going slow. It's fine. They're probably looking for a parking space to get some food. Don't do this. People, don't do this. You know, how many times have you gone around an intersection or a corner and you're going kind of slow because you're looking for a parking space? You're in downtown. You should not be hauling ass. You should not be hauling ass. You should anticipate a lot of these different things and just go with it. It's fine. You probably have done some stupid stuff that, that people honked at you for. What, you're going to get them back? I did too. So take a look. We're, we're going through no, here. Driver didn't like we're doing okay speed. Was drunk, There's a green so light for us, but they decided to go. A bit. And that's fine. We literally got up to here to do that. Just slow it down. Just slow it down. Just slow it down. Just slow it down. Oh my gosh. One sec. It says it says motorcycles don't want to fly. I want to see that video. Where are we at? Let's do it. All right, Gator, man. I I'm sorry. It, it's distracting. I gotta put you in timeout. Can't be cussing, dude. Can't be cussing. All right, here we go. So we're riding through here, lane filtering lane filtering moving through perfectly fine we're doing good we're doing good it's a green light oh why did that happen oh because they maybe didn't want to turn left didn't want to turn left now that's one of the hazards when it comes to lane filtering hazards when it comes to lane filtering got to be careful with this got to watch out they're doing a pretty good speed this is what i want you to do i want you to go slow but watch out for anybody doing that. And this happened to this person. We're lucky. We didn't see that. So good job with the rev, or not the rev, good job with the swerve. Don't rev bomb. Okay. Don't rev bomb. Don't rev bomb. Move on with your day. They wanted to get in that lane. Just go ahead and do it. Okay. That's a hazard with lane filtering. Look at it now. All right. Motor rider 510 riding through here. Pretty common area. Where's this at, everybody that lives in California? It looks like everybody's having a great time. This is where Max Risk takes all his friends and viewers to crash and possibly kill themselves. Um, let's go back. Let's see what happened. So we're riding past all these people. We're getting to this area. And now, too wide into the corner. Going a little too fast. Going a little too fast. Now, why are we doing... What's this? Are we on flat track? No, flat track, you, you purposely lose your, uh, your rear traction so you can slide around that corner. This looks a lot, an awful lot like flat track, but we're on the road. We're on the road. We should not be doing that. We're supposed to be making this turn. Yeah, it's a whoopsie. Now, what happened here? Possibly too fast, and we're starting to go towards the cliff. So slow it down. Slow it down. Watch what you're doing. Don't look off, off the edge of the cliff and be like, hey, you know, that looks a good view, and then you go towards it. Okay, so very lucky. Very, very lucky. Look at that. Look how bad that would have been. Look how bad that would have been. Slow it down, okay? Here we go. Moving through here. Moto Rider 510. Oh! Did a head check, but didn't anticipate that person there? Did you not see that person? Let's go back just a little bit. Let's go back just a little bit. Gear Blazer. Max Wrist, uh... He, Alexander, he did, he deleted the Two Wheel Jesus video? Well, it's on mine, everybody. Uh, you can watch the, the Max Wrist and Two Wheel Jesus video on this channel. And I go over the whole accident scene. All right, here we go. Moving through here. Going through here. We're going to go ahead and do a quick head check. We didn't anticipate this person being right there for some reason. So we're not really fully zoned in. We're trying to switch lanes. Now, why were we trying to switch lanes? Because our lane is busy 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 this lane was supposed to be open this person was still supposed to keep going we're going to get behind them that's not what happened this person applied the brakes possibly because there's uh, i think railroad tracks is there railroad tracks coming up nope they're just being weirdos okay so maybe they saw the pedestrian jump out in the road and they decided to stop uh he made a mistake we're able to correct it in time 
everything looks fine. All right, moving through here, Moto Rider 510 once again. All over the place. No real group ride. There's the side of the vehicle. Applying brake pressure. That was a weird turn for that driver. Looks like people are having fun in that intersection too. So right here, the side of the vehicle. Very important to watch out for that. Very important. It's intersections, everybody. Intersections. Watch out. Make sure you guys subscribe, by the way. This is a, a, a crew member right now in, this, in the chat. React in time and notice the mistake of the rider going from the opposite right. direction. So we're going around this. Got a knee down. A knee down. Okay, okay, okay. Big baller. Now we're going to make this turn, have a good time, and then, whoa, shit. Got a little close. Got a little close to us. Got a little close. Now, why did that rider go wide? Maybe a little too fast for the corner themselves. Okay. Okay. So 71 miles per hour. Kevin, I'm glad you're okay. So about the context, the dash is in kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. I'm a little bit over speed limit in the straight line, basically 65 instead of 50. But in the turns, I'm way below the speed limit, 43 miles per hour. I was riding with my friend in, in mostly dynamic mode, but still cautious of tourists because in the area, there's at least one death per week because of the frontal crash with car. And I'm trying to do both things, line positioning, late apex turn, and body inside to get more stability, but less visibility because the mountain roads can be dirty. In this situation, the only thing that saved me besides God was line positioning. Hey, so, oh, 71 kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. Okay, well, all right. So we'll, we'll thank you, Kevin. Kevin Banks is in the chat right now. He's in the class. Make sure everyone is signed in. Click that like button, subscribe, and let's go ahead. Okay, good job. Thank you for being a part of the After Action Review. That is a huge aspect of the After Action Review process. Right now, it's just kind of me talking, but when we have the person actually involved in the incident, it helps out a lot to have that context. So thank you, Kevin. Kevin Banks, thank you for being an, uh, a crew member. Thank you for being smart. Thank you for learning from mistakes and teaching us. All right, so let's go through this. This so what was happening here able to react in time is that uh, he's just riding. Going so he's just riding, riding around. Mm -hmm. He's going to get his knee down right here. All right. We're having a little bit of fun. Now we're going to go through this area. So there's 70, and we're going to have this right here. Now this was a panic. So you see how smooth everything is, like the camera, and then it jostles a little bit? That's the moment we start moving, you know, frame rate blur and everything. All right. So we don't know exactly why this rider went wide. We can go ahead and give a guess. It's pretty much going to be speed. Speed's going to be a factor. Um, maybe trying to keep up with our buddy. That could be a factor. That's an unknown factor. Um, blind turn, downhill, inexperienced, low PSI, improper line positioning, improper whatever, whatever, whatever. We can have a list of factors all over the place. But the thing is, the person's in our lane. So what is it that we can do? You see how I named all the factors for this person? So think about that for your own turns. But we're thinking about this person. <laughs> Look at the nice, nice. Uh, we can't do anything about this. We can do something about this. And Kevin did a good job. We're in the middle of a turn, and what he was able to do is anticipate or not anticipate, uh, perceive, react, and then maintain his line. He's able to get in. So he's in the turn, sees something, get away from it, and then he's able to maintain and still be on the road itself. That's very important because if you just if you're turning and you stand up, you're going to go straight off the road. So he did a great job. So right there, thankfully we had that spot, right? Could have been just grass. We could have just went into the grass or off the cliff into the trees. That's a no buenos. So we're going to get into here. Thankfully we had enough room to slow down and stop. Did a great job. He almost got him. Almost got him. Hey, Ke hey, Kevin, are you, are you using the Cardo Pack Talk bolts? Kevin? Kevin, are you using the Cardos? Okay, make sure you do. Link is in the description for a discount. All right, moving on through here. Wolfza. Whoa, a little merging problem. Okay, didn't see the real context right before that. Didn't see the context, so we, we're going to skip through that. Crashed my brand new DRZ400 SM. No! That's actually one of the bikes I wanted to get. The see if his phone stays on. You know what I'm saying? Because of the rock form and stuff. Ram mounts. Oh, if it was brand new, why do you think we might have lost traction if it was brand new? Maybe brand new tires too? It's a little bit too 
Good. Maybe a little bit too much uh, throttle through the turn. Oh, you all right? Almost throttle, a little too much throttle through the turn. So we're coming to right here. It's kind of a stop. We're double checking. There's the RPMs going up. There's the RPMs going up. Let's go back. There it goes. It broke traction. Broke traction. So when you're going around a corner, especially a 90 degree corner, everybody, make sure you have good throttle control, good clutch control. We don't dump the clutch. We don't accelerate too hard. We're looking where we want to go and we're making it happen. You can practice that. It's a slow speed maneuver. It's a tight turn from a stop slow speed maneuver. You can just go ahead and navigate through that. Don't try to rush because you got traffic coming. If you're not experienced and you don't know what you're doing or it takes you a while to get out of a turn and you see a car coming, don't be like, okay, I'm going to just make it and then go. You're going to have problems. So this is what happens when you accelerate too hard. Now that's going to be a high side. It lost traction on that rear tire, gained it back, and then flipped over. Oh. Now it's this brand new bike. Brand new bike, so maybe it's cold tires. Maybe it's wet ground. Maybe hit a road surface hazard. Maybe it's new tires, so they're not broken in yet. Lots of factors. But one thing was definitely, one thing was definitely that too much right there all right all right cool oh you all right dude you all right all right okay wolves uh here we go riding around riding around a little bit shaky moving up to 60 frames uh going a little too wide i think we we're going a little too fast on that turn good okay he found an escape path keep it going buddy keep it going hey hey it, it, it's not pretty, but we prevented a crash. It's a close call now, baby. I would, I would take that over a crash. All right, so what's happening here? He says, well, we're on fire. All right, so he says that he locked up that rear tire. And, like, that's the problem. No, the problem is we're going pretty damn fast right up to the corner. Look at this. We're going fast. We're going fast. And now we're slowing down. Uh-oh, we're going a little too wide. And then now we're probably going to lock up that tire. Now we're probably going to lock up that tire. Now, why are we locking up the tire now? Because we are getting freaking close. And we're doing, oh, crap. Now, what happens to car drivers when they first start riding motorcycles? And then they do the, oh, crap movement. It's that right foot. That right foot, when you're driving, you're, you're, you're having the gas on the pedal. And then you see somebody come out in front of you. Like, oh, crap. And then you hit the brake. So what is your right foot right now? On the, not right now, but on the bike. When you're riding a bike, where's your right foot? It's right next to that rear brake. So when in a panic, sometimes new riders that came from driving slam that rear brake and locks up that rear tire. Okay? Now we hit a bump, did a good job. He didn't get bucked off. Now, hey, we're still on two wheels. We're still on two wheels. We're still moving. We still have a chance of getting majorly injured. You know, we got a drop off here. We have a guardrail that's already been hit. So what do we do? We find what we can do and ride on, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and find that spot, find that spot, and we're gonna slow down gradually and come to a stop. It could have been a lot worse, could have been a lot worse. Thankfully, he had this area to play with. If it was a guardrail or a wall, done. So let's take this, learn from it, and let's not do it ourselves. Too fast in the corner, too fast. Every bike's a dual sport if you believe in yourself. <laughs> Quote of the day. Quote of the day. Make sure you guys, if, if you want to be smart riders, make sure you guys get that smart rider basic training ebook. Use code SMARTRIDER at checkout for 15% off. Do it. Whew. There we go. Riding on the sidewalk, that's a no buenos. First ride on the motorcycle and that up with a pretty basic mistake. Uh-oh. Hit a bump. Okay. So we're going to do tight turns, slow speed stuff. Look forward. Look forward. Oh, we stalled. Maybe hit the brakes. And we fell over. I, and couldn't think right. Okay. So we got a little uh, helmet fire going on. A little bit of a helmet fire. We don't know what's going on. Put the side stand down. I have a feeling he's going to drop it on the other side now. I... He can't lift it up. Okay. There you go. There you go. So turn it around, lift it up. There you go. So he's going to do it right now. Watch. Watch, 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 watch. 
Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Getting it higher. Okay, so he straightened his legs out first and then lifted. So that means all back. So you want to squat down and pull up. There you go. Okay, let's think. Let's think a little bit. There we go. Okay, so a panic, it's, it's not good. You don't want to be panicking. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happened. Basic mistake. Let's see if we can prevent this from happening in the first place. So we're going to practice our slow speed maneuvers right here. So this way we're going to straighten the handlebars, pull in the clutch, and we're going to stop and then get ourselves in a good position so we have line of sight so we can see around this vehicle. We don't want to just gun it. And I know a lot of people are like, well, I, I can't stop very well. I don't do good at slow speed. So like in this situation, if I see nobody's there, I'm just going to go. That means you never practice. It means you're not going to practice. It means that this is an opportunity right here that you're giving up. This is an opportunity for practice. Strain up those handlebars. Look where you need to stop. Stop. Look where you need to go. Okay, there's line of sight. I can see around the vehicle. Okay, no one's coming for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and slowly ease out that friction zone and clutch, and I'm going to start going. And then we're going to go ahead and do our tight turn and navigate this area. Use this as an opportunity for training. Okay? So let's, let's take a look. All right, so we stalled. We, we let the clutch out a little too much. You saw the jump, right? So what happened was we had the clutch in. We had the clutch in. We just let it go. And when you let it go, it jerks forward, and then you stall at this slow speed. Watch. There it is. It stalled. Now it's going to be jostling you, and it's going to turn your handlebars a little bit because you're kind of already turning that way. And now we're starting to fall down. Now we're starting to fall down. And that's fine. That's fine. He's got boots on. Not going to not gonna damage his ankles. It's not going to hurt him too bad. Now it comes to picking up the bike. Now picking up the bike this way, that could hurt your back, but it can be done. It can be done. Now what you want to do is turn the handlebars the other way and lift up. Okay, so we have, and then that, that's the better way. We have a video on motorcycle training concepts. It's going to teach you all this stuff. Now we're gonna lift it this way. Now this is the proper way to lift it. Now you need to use your legs though. So what I was saying is when he was lifting it up, his legs were already straight. So he already utilized all the power in his legs just to straighten out his legs, okay? So you see how they're straight? Now what's gonna be lifting it? It's, he's like this. And that's it. So now he's gotta do his back. Now he's gotta use his back. You got to use your legs. Squat down, pick it up. Don't squat down, grab it, stand up, and then go up. Okay? It's getting hot in here. <sighs> lift it properly so you don't hurt your back. That's the reason why we couldn't lift it. Right, here we go all right camera's right on the top okay look forward look forward good we got sun to the sun to our back okay we're taking up the whole three lanes all right here we go wheelie time a little bit too far and that's fine you know it's just road rash it's just skin you know it's the largest organ on your body it's not a big deal um it only thermal regulates your whole body and you possibly can go to shock easy you, know, you get too much burned off you and plus you got tats you don't want to it's a good way to get rid of him. And he's on the ground. All right. So he ran off to the side, getting himself into safety. He's hopefully remaining calm, ensuring his own safety. Uh, hopefully they're stopping any major bleeds. And then they're going to quickly uh, assess the severity. You know, rescue another rider. You good? All right, get up because the boys here. Get up because the boys are here? One sec. Let's go back just a little bit. All right. So we're going to do this half speed, everybody. We're going to do a little bit of a half speed situation here. So we're going to be riding. We're going to go a little bit too high. Uh-oh. So now it's the point where we need to have full gear. Now, now it's like, you know, I, we're pausing. It's like, oh, I wish I had full gear. And this is what's happening here. Now, I believe they have, like, multiple brake levers on each one so he can actually do his rear brake from here. Correct me if I'm wrong. We do have a stunting safely section on the Discord. I've been peeking myself in there, but I would love to get somebody that knows how to do a lot of stunting stuff to go in there and be a good mentor to, uh, to everyone in there and learn how to ride safely, stunt safely, 
Brian636, if you're watching this, I'd love to have you in the Discord. Love to have you in the Discord. Maybe Dank Willie. I don't know. Whoever. Uh, get in the Discord. So we're going to do this, and now we're going to fall. There's that elbow impact on the far right. So that's not going to feel good. And now we're going to go ahead and get Road Rash everywhere on our body. So we're going to roll and have impacts. We're still rolling. Here's going to be the next white line that we're going to pass up. And yeah, we slid maybe 100 feet. Maybe 100 feet. Not good. So we're going to have road rash. We're going to have damage to our body. Whew. This is why we have a rescue kit. We got tourniquets inside the rescue kit. We got bleeding control and everything in here with a nice pull away bag and some gloves. Grab yourself a rescue kit. Link is in the description. Do it. Do it. Do it. Each one comes with a sticker pack, by the way. You guys were talking and asking, hey, when am I going to get stickers? They're on the shop right now. We have stickers. And the kit's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. We got some cool ideas for a brand new kit. A brand new kit. This, it's going to be badass. It's going to be badass. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got a stretched bike. Okay. All right. All right, I think I said this was part of the, the intro. The guy in the green. Let's see what happens with the guy in the green. Having a lot of fun. Hey, you're in the middle of the way. Hey, hey, get out of the way. What are you doing? What are you doing? Another bald guy. I love it. Here we go. Real time. I would wear gear. Wear gear. Oh, there's a little bit of road rash. There's a little bit of damage to the bike. Not a big deal, right? Not a big deal, right? Doctor impressed. We do have patches on the moto rescue kits, which are available. Um, we're planning on selling the patches solo by themselves, hopefully soon. Got up like a what? Like a G. All right. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit and uh, too much power on that rear wheel. So they had good traction, lots of power. Got them flowing. All right. So we're going to watch it in real time one more time. Now, my big concern with this is mechanism of injury and impact. So we're going to have a possible shoulder problem, collarbone break, maybe. AC joint issues. Um, what else? We have his hand. We have anything else that's going to impact. Let's see what else impacts. Okay, so there's the knee, and then we have his his knee or his knee and his hip, and then here's his belly. His belly is going to start getting some road rash. So that's not going to be fun. Um, his face is protected by the helmet. You saw a little bounce. That means there was an impact, and he actually bounced a little bit. So what did he bounce off of? The ground, obviously. Duh. Uh, no, his ribs. His ribs had a nice little compression, and it bounced him up. Now, easy to break a rib, not fun to heal. So he's going to be rolling around, and thankfully the grass isn't going to cause any type of sandpaper-type injury, so you can still get lacerations and whatnot. And thankfully it wasn't super fast, um, but it's not going to be a fun thing to have. So my, my diagnosis on this one, which I can't diagnose because I'm a firefighter, I'm not a doctor, um, is that he's going to have some injuries to his hands. He's going to have possibly a bloody nose, maybe a bloody bloody mouth because you still get that impact to the face uh chest trauma hopefully nothing broken um he's gonna be sore as hell the next day sore as hell the next day because you have to think when you hit the ground like that it's not just your ribs and muscles I mean, that's all we typically think is ribs and muscles getting damaged in something like this your organs are on the inside and they do this real quick now here's the thing organ organ and we have tissue connecting it what's happening is it's going to do this real quick do this real quick and this right here to go back is going to tear things up and that's where you start to have internal bleeding so be very 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 careful that's why he's gonna be sore he's gonna be in a lot of pain tomorrow all right here we go so anthon for life riding through an intersection okay orange stage orange stage orange stage side of the vehicle non-issued there the other side of the vehicle good job finding that escape path going a little too fast we're going 50 now let's well 50 is not too bad i wonder what what was the speed limit there oh. 
One second. Let me just look for the speed limit. Nathan, don't put this part. Okay. I don't see a speed limit sign. Is this one coming up? Is this one coming up? No. All right. Let's just assume. Let's say it's 50. <clears throat> it's 50 miles per hour speed limit. We're going 60. All right. So 60. We're going 10 over. We're going 10 over. We're going pretty fast. There's that side of the vehicle that I keep talking about. Side of the vehicle. But that's in the far right lane. So we should be good and we should be past that person. We should be past that person. So we're going through here. There we go. Non-issue. Now we're going to come up to this area. Did you see this until last second? So here's the thing. If you are staring at this, what about this? And that's right now he's going to go ahead and react to it. So he perceived, he reacted. Now part of planning your ride is positioning for safety, locating hazards. Adapting or navigating. Now, this is going to be a major hazard. He's got to get out of the way. So, we're going to go over here and we're going to find an escape path. We have a great escape path over there. Part of positioning for safety is looking for those. Okay, putting yourself in that situation. So, we're going to go over here knowing full well this person is going to come into our path of travel. This is the side of the vehicle that we keep talking about on this channel. Side of the vehicle. All right. So, we're going to do a nice swerve. Very quick, very good, very easy. Moved over. And now we're going to accelerate through because you don't know if this person is going to keep going. So we had to accelerate through out of here. But here's the thing. We are safe pretty much. We're, we're in, a, in a good spot right here for this. What about this? What about this? What about anybody wanting to pull out? What about anybody else? So as soon as we get past this part, don't rev bomb because we have to navigate anything else that's coming up. So we're going to switch lanes because this person's going too slow. And then we're going to slow down because we have a light up ahead. So he navigated everything, did a great job, moved through everything. But the problem that I see others, and, he, and it's not shown in here, but I just want to reiterate this, is that once you pass a hazard like this, look for the next one. There's going to be a next one. Just, just look for the next one. Don't look back, flip people off. You need to go to the next one and the next one and the next one. You're always going to have these issues. I just don't want you always having close calls. If you keep having close calls, one of those will turn into a crash at some point. Okay? All right, here we go. Having some fun at night. I like riding at night. It's nice and cool. In Arizona is too hot. Ran the red. Okay. We're safe. We're good. Typically that happens at night because nobody's around and it's usually a drunk person. So let's take a look real quick. We're just kind of sitting here. Now, this is a great example of green does not mean go. So it's, it's definitely going to be a red light for this person because it just turns green for us. And that's, it, that's pretty late. Typically, the green doesn't turn on for us for like a second or two after it turned red for everyone else. So this person just keeps going. So just because it's green does not mean go. This is what I don't like it when people kind of get closer and anticipate the green happening and going during the red and knowing full well it's going to be green because stuff like this can happen. Okay, very careful, did a good job, handled the situation. Moving on, Moto Stars, come on now. Gas prices over there look pretty good. All right, so left turn from the right heart hand lane. Okay, non-issue. Uh, non-issue. I get it, the person should have done that, but you're gonna, you could have, you could have handled that. All right, so we both, the motorcycle rider and the Tri-City Electric person <sighs> did not go in the first available lane, did they? Okay, he did, but he's going to pass. All right, so anyways, he's going to pass. Yeah, they shouldn't have turned right there. We're going to handle it. All right, moving on. All right, so G-Money rides once again. Hey, does that, that looks like a rock form out. All right, red light, red light, green light. Okay, so are we gonna go nice and safe for us to do so? This van's gonna get in our lane, watch. Yep, and it's gonna piss us off because we're faster than them. And it's like, what? Now, why do you think they did that? You just saw the sign. So let's take a look at this. We're getting into here. Okay, first available lane. We're accelerating through and they're going into our lane. Yeah, it's gonna piss us off a little bit. It's gonna piss us off. We're going pretty fast. We like to go fast, we're on a motorcycle. We have a GoPro right here. You know, we're probably vlogging. We're having a good time. And then what I'm trying to get at is why did that person do it? 
Why was that person switching lanes, everybody? I don't know. I, I, I have no idea why this person is switching lanes. Why? You can see that ahead of time. You can see that it turns into one lane later. So just anticipate that. Exactly, speed limit. Exactly, maniac. Exactly, gear blazer. K-N-N. Exactly. All right, moving on with just cruise. Okay, already have an issue. It's a roundabout type area, intersection. Lots of issues there. Lots of traffic. Handled it. Make sure you get full gear though, just in case something bad happens. Alright, so we're just gonna have issues. It's gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep happening. Don't worry too much about it. Just anticipate these things. Don't get pissed off. Enjoy the ride. I'm tired of people getting mad. I'm tired of people getting mad. Heading from home, heading home from work. All right, watch out for sides of the vehicles. Where's our escape path? We have a terrible position for safety. Hopefully, to, oh, yep. Terrible position for safety. Did good job. Did a good job. Objects look further apart with a wide angle lens. That's always the excuse. Yep. Always the excuse. That lane is not standard. That's not a regulation goal. All right. It's not regulation. Okay, it's not like we're hanging out in the blind spot the whole time, right? Right? All right. So if you're going to be a smart rider, then you probably got the Smart Rider Basic Training ebook. All right? It's the ebook that you should have. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you out. It's going to tell you all the Smart Rider principles, and it's going to tell you everything you need to know to get started with riding. Link is in the description. Grab it. It's a, it's a download international. You can just get it wherever you're at. Learn, learn, learn. Somebody write in the comments. Get that link in the comments. All right? So let's go over here. Heading home from work. Having a good time. Now we're boxed in. We're in a blind spot area. This person can just swerve into us at any point and we can get hit. It's a no bueno. Now my biggest concern here is we have sides of the vehicle, side of the vehicle. I'm worried that this person's going to go. I can't escape because this person's here. I can't escape because this, this thing's here. We got to decelerate and we got to slow down. That's the problem that I see right here. Now, why, there's too many. Too many things. Too many things here. Now, the only thing I can control is this thing and where I'm at. That's the only thing I can control. I can't control this. So if we can just start to minimize and get rid of some of these things. So this is the only thing we have to worry about if we decelerate and get out of this person's blind spot. If we got out of that person's blind spot, that is the only thing we have to worry about. But right now we have to worry about this. We got to worry about that. We got to worry about this. We got to worry. Too many things to worry about. Put yourself in a position for success and safety. So he says, oh, shite. Be prepared for evasive action. So we're going to do that. Now, why do you think they did that? Why do you think they switched into our lane? That dude's kind of sticking out. So he's going to switch in our lane. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that, but we were in the blind spot. Now, what do we do in this situation? We hopefully can ride on this little line. Hopefully we can decelerate so we get behind the vehicle. We can't swerve right. We can't swerve left. We can only go forwards or backwards. Now, if we go forwards and we gas it, I'm hoping this person stops. Because if I gas it, I don't want to hit, and hit this person. So really, the only course of action I have is to decelerate or get right here. So now where's the other problem if we start riding this? Let's say this person comes out just right here. Boom, we got hit. We hit him. And yeah, right, you're right. Uh, uh, Gear Blazer, you got that sewer thing right there. So that's going to be a nice little bump that you're going to get hit. So all we can really do is decelerate and move over as best as we can. That's the only option we have because we stayed in the blind spot. If you don't stay in the blind spot, you have more options. So watch out for those blind spots. Watch out for those intersections. Watch out for those mergers. So he's going to switch over. Did a good job. Thankfully, that person stayed, and we moved back into our lane. Got super lucky. And then this right here is the excuse every motorcycle rider talks about. Ten seconds. 
for watching till the end. I oh, that's it. Well, thanks for watching till the end. Moto stars. Moto stars. It's four o'clock. It's four o'clock. I've been streaming for two hours. Two hours. If you're brand new to the stream, you're brand new to this classroom, you're brand new to motorcycle training, you better subscribe. You better hit that like button to sign in. I want to see the chat blow up saying, hey, subscribe. But let's go to the lounge and we'll talk real quick. And then we're going to go into the dorm room, hang out, and have a nice little chitty chat chat. All right? All right. Woo! That was interesting. That was a fun day. Hey, can somebody bring the my rescue kit to the dorm for me? I need to put it back together. It looks kind of like a mess. Uh, everybody, we have the Smart Rider Basic Training ebook. We got the new DDFM Cruise sticker pack on the store. We have the rescue kit now available, and it's going to be available all the time because we have a ton in stock now. You guys wanted some. We have a ton in stock now. We're slowly increasing the quality. We're slowly adding more things and not changing the price we got a cool new set coming out we got a training pack being delivered soon so you guys can just buy the training pack it's gonna be cheaper and you have everything you need to train we have vests we got blue tourniquets we got i, I can't share too much more i can't share too much more but the one thing that you can get right now is the smart rider basic training ebook all right that's going to tell you all the stuff about smart rider principles it's going to tell you what you need to do to be situationally aware it's going to tell you what lane positions it's going to tell you what bikes are out there it's going to tell you how to practice your fundamental skills what kind of gear to get you know acquire and utilize personal protective equipment there's a section on how to rescue another rider we talk about helmet removal we talk about jaw thrust and not head tilt chin lift we talk about what to look for and rescue another rider and then a nice section on teaching and mentoring so you can actually go out there and practice and teach everyone else but it's the linchpin it's the thing that we follow here at dan and the fireman is the smart rider principles all right we follow that we practice it we live it and we just get better and better and better all right let's go to the dorm Whoa, well, Rainin, your message was deleted by the google moderator team Google. Google moderator team. What? Just, just. Just say something. Just, it's okay. Just say, Google, go ahead. Go ahead and hang out. Hang out. Hang out with us. We talk about safety here. But you should be able to do that. I did that. I'm going to do that too. Am I going to get... Am I going to get deleted now? No. Whew. Thoughts on the Rossi retirement announcement? Um, Not too bad. Not not a bad thing. Um, Let him do his thing. Maybe next time... Or now we're not going to hear possibly uh, Street Rossi's anymore. We're just going to hear about like the new... The new person. I don't know. I don't know, it's it's I don't follow MotoGP here, but we do have a MotoGP section on the Discord. And I'm pretty sure that thing's blowing up. All right. Lee Rogers. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. How long does it take for tires to get worn in? Uh roughly like 50 to 100 miles. So you don't want to go crazy for the first 50 to 100 miles, but definitely like on new tires just don't just don't do anything crazy until you get about 50 miles all right i think google is moody today speed limit hey google join the ddfm discord it's free with a 20 dollar donation i need to make new emojis you know what in fact i got one i got one can we can we put the uh the bed down thank you appreciate it um, let's go to the alert box. This is where I get to have some fun. I'll change the super chat one. I'll change the super chat one. I want to see you guys. I want to see you guys. Don't I want to see what the next donation looks like? 
One second. Not yet. Not yet. Don't don't donate yet. Don't donate yet. Let's see if it uploads. There you go. All right, it's saved. So if you get a donate, if you donate, you're gonna see the new thing pop up. If you're good with with gifs and emojis, message me on Discord. I'd like to get brand new alerts. Yeah, uh, Rick, they uh, they took that out of their <laughs> out of their mission statement. Don't be evil. It's kind of a weird thing to take out, right? Kenneth McDonald, good and informative class today. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate those uh, kind words. I'm really surprised. Like, I, I've got, like, the sinus thing. Um, and I have some energy. This is great. All right. It's time to relax. It's time to relax a little bit. Is the music too loud? Let me know. Bring Gator back. Shave Google's beard. <laughs> Gator Guida's back. See? Pretty heartwarming stuff, guys. There it is. The $5 holla. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can make it bigger. That's what she said. There we go. So it's going to be a bigger one. Sorry, Hanny is Matt. No, no 10. How you doing? How you doing? No 10. If you are watching this on your big screen. <laughs> Woo. If you can make more of those on the Discord, I will put them on. I will put them on the uh, on the stream. <laughs> I will put them on the stream. I tried to scrub in new tires and take it easy, and was all the way to the edge within three miles. Bike and it's boy. All right. Hey Dan, uh, tell me please, what's the best bike for you, dude? Johnny. It all depends on what you're going to do with it. RJ Moore with the 99. You're trying to trigger it, huh? You're trying to... I think it triggers on 99 cents. I think it does. Yeah, it should. That's the minimum amount you can trigger it on. So let's see. Let's see, what, let's see if it pops up. <laughs> Maniac, see you later. You have a great time. What's up, Garrett? How you doing? Scarlet in the Discord. Chicken quesadillas, Bowman. That sounds good. Sounds good. It didn't pop up. It didn't pop up. Let me see if I can force it. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Woo -wee. I love it. If you guys have other emojis or GIFs, I'd love it. I made a GIF of when you died. Wait, I died? I recommend your videos to every writer meet. Doctor impressed, I am impressed. I mean, you got a doctorate in it. The more you donate, the longer it stays up there, right? Uh, sure. Sure. I think so. No, it doesn't. It doesn't stay up longer. <laughs> but let's see if I have another emoji I can I can play with. So let's see. Uh, let me do let me do another. I want to change. No, the member one is good. I think I might change the member. I think I might change the member one. One second. When you become a member. I need to download the new. I need to download it. All right. Let's see. 20 seconds for 20 bucks. Hey, that's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal. No, uh, the what you're talking about is is in the chat. 
um, on the top of chat, it stays there longer. I don't, I have control of the alert. All right, so we have a brand new, we have a brand new member. Uh, if you join now, you're gonna see a brand new one. Let me go ahead and test it. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Do, do. So roll out. There we go. Go ahead and next. Next. Woo. Scarlet, you know you like watching that. All right. So if you become a member, that's the new one. If you become... Or if you donate, it's the other one. Dinah, how you doing, man? They got to make an emoji with you pointing to your America shorts. I know, Gear. I know. Hercules, uh, hey, no problem. Come to the Discord, dude. Go to the Discord. Hang out in the Discord. Dinah, you, you kind of did. Kind of did. Let me go ahead and change this up. All right. Saw did. I'm moderately advanced writer of 20. Whoa, doctor impressed. <laughs> hey, welcome. Welcome to the crew. Well, uh, if you don't mind, uh, let's see, let's see. I'm one sec. KNN, I'm a moderately advanced writer of 22 years. Your channel fundamentally changed the way I view writing and driving traffic. Thank you. Hey, you've been a writer for 22 years and I changed your mind on something? That is, that is awesome. That is awesome. Hey, I always love it when somebody wants to learn something. Glad you're a better driver and rider, rider for that. All right, Dan, read my previous, previous message if you don't mind. Not sure how to tell them to, I don't know, not do that without getting pissed. All right, where are you at, No 10? What's the... Dan, I know this person that was doing 100 plus taking pictures using their phone while driving thoughts. Stay away from them because they're probably going to merge into your lane. Um, just, just let them deal with it. It's their emergency if they crash. It's their emergency if they crash. Um, I've seen some really dumb stuff. Um, Gator, I made you more aware. Good. Sorry for muting you, dude. It just kept kept hitting the bot, and I keep saying like "held for review" on my screen. It's just whoa, Google, what are you doing? You just deleted Hercules. All right, one sec. What is it? What is the phrase? Message deleted by Google. Okay. Message deleted by Google moderator team. So it's been going on for a while. I don't care. I'm not sure if you saw. I actually saw this. You can take a screenshot. Um, let's see. How do I turn off Google Moderator? Seriously. It's like Google's being worse than than my like stream bots. I'm trying to find the answer. The popular video is blah, blah, blah. Um, others, other users report that if your comments are deleted by the bot too many times, a Google moderator is notified. When the bot deletes your messages too many times, the Google mod is alerted. 
I guess they see your live chat history. Yeah, shut up, Google. It's an auto sensor bot. The heck is going on? Watching a live stream, uh, people write like there's no there's no answers. It's like nobody's getting a real answer for it. Nobody knows. Anybody have an idea? How long has it been? How long has it taken to grow your beard out, Gear Blazer? Uh, this is about a year. Um, I did a trim on it, and I'm finally back to where this would take about a year to do. And I'm going to let it grow. I'm going to let it grow. Google deleted my comments all the time. Viewers get ticked off. Yeah, it's weird. so weird and the fact that they did it to a moderator google delete okay dan dan how come you're the man <laughs> dan dan how come you're the man uh it just is it's what happens it's just what happened the man <laughs> you guys are fun you guys are fun i want <laughs> yeah how dare they Anyone, anybody's video also looked like being filmed and transmitted a potato. Uh, you might have to refresh or change it. It only takes you that much to grow. I, I think you're lying. I think you're lying. I don't think it takes you two days. Yeah, it's so weird, Scarlet. I don't get it. This is the first time I've ever seen it. I mean, I'm a part of the, the YouTube partner program and a few other things. So, YouTube, if you're watching this, what are you doing? Let me check. I think it's... Yeah, it blocks links, but it's held for review. I don't have... All my features are enabled. I don't get it. All right, so I see a question. Dan, hey, uh, Boone the Beast. Hey, Dan, off-topic question, but my dad is a firefighter in Wisconsin, and he can't have his beard long at all on mustache. Are there different rules about that in AZ? So, Boone the Best, you are right. You can't have a mustache that's too long, typically uh, past the crest of the mouth. Um, and then uh, it's for the seal. It's for the SCBA seal. You need to create a seal so that you have positive pressure, uh, and you don't want to be leaking anywhere. So... Uh, now the question is, is it different rules in Arizona? So uh, you're, you're basically asking if, if I'm a firefighter in Arizona with a beard and everything. No, uh, I have, I left the fire service three years ago, May, 2018. I was an 11 year career firefighter at a municipality and, uh, seen lots and lots and lots of stuff. Uh, I was on a department that had 12 to 14,000 calls uh, a year. So, uh, it was a lot of fun. And I was at the busiest stations for eight of those years. I was there. Station three was on the box and the truck and the engine. Uh, yeah, I, Scarlett, I am going to reach out uh, to her. I'm going to see what's up. I'm going to see what's up. Why are they deleting my comments? I 
I don't get it. Why did I get out early? Great question. Uh, multiple factors. You know, it's like a crash. There's there's always a, a, a multitude of factors. Um, one big driver towards the last three years, my mental health was going downhill. Uh, I've broken down quite a bit, uh, quite a few times in the bathroom at my apartment in Sabino. And uh, I remember a few of them. And I just remember uh, crying in the in the bathroom. And I remember crying in my closet. And I just remember saying, I'm tired of seeing dead people. Yep. And then I left. I got therapy. I was on meds for a year. And I felt good. And you know what? I could do this. I, I could do this all day. You know, some days it's kind of <laughs> kind of crazy, but I like hanging out with you guys. I'd rather do this. I get a beard. I get a beard. I get to drink when I want. Obviously, it's not it's not good for you. I'm pretty much in the worst shape of my life, though. Yeah, I just I, I share all that stuff, guys. You know that. Yeah, gear, that one was tough. Code green, exactly, Scarlet. We we raised... Let me see how much money we raised. I forgot how much money we raised for Code green. We did that fundraiser last year, right? Yeah. $1,161.88 is what we raised. Here, let's... I want to show you guys. I, I, think, I think there's nothing crazy shown here. Look, okay, we did fundraisers. So we did thousand for that. NAMI, that's a uh, mental health, men's mental health, six thousand, almost seven hundred bucks, sixty-seven hundred dollars basically. Education, and then we did this one. Remember this one, Raynan? We raised seventeen hundred dollars for foster children. Yeah, that was just that was just last year. We did like a few. And then we did the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride where we raised like how much did we raise? A couple of grand? Lots of grands? We got top 50 again this year. Top 50. All right, am I missing stuff, Rain? Is that what you're doing? Thank you for the screenshot cuz I will I will send that. I will send that to my partner. Uh, let me scroll up. Door de Vlore. Do I earn enough? Yes, I do. I earn enough. Uh, we have a team now. So we're uh, Dan and the fireman is uh, supporting a team. of. We have an editor. We got Rain right there. Production manager, assistant production manager. We got... Accountants, bookkeeper, we got we got the whole thing. It's paying bills and and it's great. I mean, I'm a one car family, so we're not out here buying a bunch of crap. Um, we're able to live comfortably. My wife doesn't have to work. She's she's working for the company. She's the admin director. We got a whole system going, and it's and it's great. I feel great. I'm glad I get to work with my friends and family. Uh, it's stressful as hell. It's hard to create a, a work-life balance. A nice little boundaries here and there, but uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. We should do another Boone the Best. Okay. Raining, can we find another one? Can we find another video? Please? Um, Maybe like the newest Moto Stars. Was that the newest Moto Stars? We'll do another one. We'll, we'll give the people what they want. We'll do another one. We'll do this one quick. We'll do this one quick. Take your time though. You, there's no rush. Just find the good one. I'm holding. I can't. Rain. I can't hold your beer. I'm on. I'm on stream. I'm in uniform. I, I'm sorry. Can, can you put one in the freezer for me though? Thank you. Appreciate. It. Appreciate. It. Appreciate it. I think she's gonna drink it before she puts it in the freezer. Um, Team Dan Dan Scotty. Hey, by the way. Uh, I'm looking for a, a WordPress web developer. So, 
WordPress web developer. Um, kind of looking into that. Looking into that. <clears throat> Door of Lore, thank you. You've been here for, for a very long time. I've recognized your name. I like saying your name. I think it's still made up, but I enjoy it. And uh, it's crazy how things have gone. Uh, motorcycle training concepts is is a huge training program and system that we're, we're getting developed. Can't wait. There's going to be so much more. There's going to be so much more. Yeah, the one thing I'm not killing it in, though, Ryan, SV1000S, is subscribers. Why, why isn't there enough? Why isn't people subscribing? We're getting millions of views a month, but we don't even have... We're not getting a lot of subscribers. Maybe it's because I don't... Maybe I don't do anything. You put it in the doc? The right, the writing smart eighty, guys. This is episode eighty. Hey Dan, long time watcher. I really like your channel and all the insightful comments. Keep up the great work, Jess Ross. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Jeff E got the beard. Hey, if you're a, if you're a DFM crew member, um, and and you can see where it can sh you can share your anniversary. There you go. I see it now, Rainin. Uh, you can share your anniversary. So Jeff E, I think if you click that little money sign. Share share your anniversary. Hey, we're going to do a poll. What do you guys want? What, what kind of question do you guys want to ask? Let's see. What, what what poll should we do? Let's create a poll for the for the chat. Let's create a poll. Where's Rescue Baldo? <laughs> I like that name better. Matei, Matei. He's, uh... I got to bring him in to the dorm room. Um, He's hanging out in the other room. Hey, Jeff Ross. Welcome to the crew. This is this, We're a serious organization. We're a very serious organization. And you're a senior crew member of it. There you go. Jason Kovacs, member for nine months. Love the beard. Looking good. Prodigal and Jeff E, though, got that gray beard. Looks nice. That's a year, though, right? The gray beard is a year. Extra one. I see it. Thank you so much, Rain. Appreciate it. Oh, I do have 40 minutes left. You are right. We are going to stream for another 40 minutes. Hello, everyone. Hi. Is this a new one? Oh, this is an old one. That's fine. I don't... Oh, uh, we... Uh, no, no, that's fine. Uh, this one has when Yo-Yo Two Wheels fell down and split her spleen open. I did an AAR on this one. But it... I like... I, 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 can, I can work with that. I can work. Uh, you ever miss being a first responder? Yes. Rescue Bald is the new name. Uh, no, he's hanging out in the other room. We we put him face down because he's he's kind of scary looking. Best beginner bike and best advanced rider bike. Um, gosh, I think those questions are too hard to to put up on. Hey, Nathan Barclay, welcome to the crew. Senior crew member. And Jeff E, a member for 13 months, old man status. Rev bomb. She. Jeff E, 13 months. It's looking good. You're looking good. We got another video. We're going to do this one seated. How do I look? I look pretty good. We're going to do this one seated. Yeah, the poll. So let's do a poll real quick. Let's do a poll real quick. Um, do you like turtles? All right. Since we can't come up with anything. Since we can't come up with anything. Nothing really good. I just, I, I feel like that's the best we could do. That's the best we can do. All right. So who put they didn't like turtles? Doctor impressed. Member for a couple minutes. It's good to have you. All right. Class. I think we're going to get right back into it. Let's pause the music real quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. We're talking about the cool turtles. We're doing the cool turtle.
All right, here we go, everybody. We're going to be talking about Totally Destroyed, Bikers in Trouble 2020, Bernie fucking San <laughs> Sanders. Bernie fucking Sanders. Love it. All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Good. Today, I've got... Hey, we're going to talk about some crashing. Uh, this is Yo-Yo Two Wheels. She it's broke her spleen. The mistakes of others, so check this out and ride safe. Ride safe. All right, here we go. Riding through here, no gray squad. Speeding and Have per distance between the bikers resulted in a serious accident. Okay, so going around this vehicle. Don't get hit from behind, and there it is. All right, so one of the biggest fears... Okay, that's a great name. Uh, one of the biggest fears when stopping like that is getting hit from the rear. Speeding okay. and per distance between the bikers resulted in a serious accident. So this is the best we could do in this situation where we are, are trying to slow down, but then the people behind us are going to have an issue slowing down because they're not paying attention. They're probably just riding your ride or driving your ride and saw you last second. So their perception reaction, total stopping distance, screwed up. Um, it's not really our fault it's going to happen. Uh, it's just one of those things. So the one thing that you need to have is full gear. Get yourself some gear. We have a link in the description for really good, inexpensive gear. Now, in that situation, I'd look behind me, and if somebody's coming, I'd try to gun it. Uh, we got clipped. So the problem isn't another car. It's a rider. It's a rider not paying attention. So let's not do that to our buddies. Please. Please. Focus. Look ahead. Be in orange and yellow stage. Don't hit your buddy. Don't hit your buddy. Now, that's two injuries. Are we going to be able to rescue another rider class? Hope so. All right, here we go. Terry Wildly, I'm taking my MSF course this weekend. Wish me luck. Hey, I'm wishing you luck. Everybody wish her luck. Go in the Discord. You're going to get 8,000 plus people wishing you luck. Lots of new riders in there. Lots of people taking their uh, class this weekend. Share your story. Have a great time. Uh, talk your nerves out with everyone else. Feel good. We're all in there together. Join the Discord. Speed limit, you know what to do. Show her the Discord. All right. Here we go. Max Send, here we go. What's his name? Despite the good visibility. The so side of the vehicle? Already. Head on into side of the vehicle. Okay, okay, okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Good job applying the brakes and getting yourself out of that situation. You need to see it before you can stop. If you don't see it, you're not going to stop. And that's usually where panic breakings happen. All right? So here, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to we're gonna power through it. I only got 20 more minutes, 30 more minutes for class. We're going to power through this. This is a 10-minute video. Let's do a lightning round. Here we go. Super quick. I'm just going to push buttons like this. All right, here we go. So, Moto Stars, we're going to be reviewing your video today. We're going to be going around this corner, yo yo two wheels. Let's do react. So, we took, we actually talked about this video, uh, and that's why I'm going to let it play. So, yo yo two wheels, she hit the ground super hard. And the reason why she's not getting up, and a lot of people are like, oh, it's just an easy crash. She, she, Split her spleen in half. She had a splenectomy afterwards. So we did an after action review on this. So please check it out. Link is going to be in the description when this goes uh, on video on demand. Um, but you could just search on, on this channel. It's going to be a medical review where you're talking about all the different types of things that could be happening. That's why she's guarding that area. I believe that's a nurse. Now, rescue another rider, please. So know what to do in this situation. And this situation is just to make sure everybody's safe. Make sure you're slowing down traffic. Looks like we got somebody slowing down traffic. And remain calm. Uh, she was able to uh, get EMS on scene, but yeah, that's internal bleeding. It's worth noting how many friendly people stop to make sure everything... If you need to, make sure you grab yourself a rescue kit. If there was external bleeding, you would be able to stop it with this, but internal bleeding, you can't do nothing. You see how simple it is to have an injury? Yeah, we're fine. Ambulance is on the way. Thank you, Indy, for the donation. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Pretty scary. Now, I think that was her friend's bike. Yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, the spleen filters your blood, so if you remove your to spleen, go. you're in trouble. All right, we're moving on. Red Master. On the biker. All right, so uncommon thing in a common situation. We got, we got the uh, headlights in the front of a, mo uh, a car looking at us. It's a no bueno situation. Thankfully, he saw it ahead of time, but some people don't see it, and they just crash. So just let the person go. Law of gross tonnage. 
and let them win or move on with their day. So good job. Good job. All right, lane filtering, high rate of speed. Watch out for anybody wanting to merge in front of us like this. We're going to apply some brake pressure, but we're going to rev bomb anyways. It's kind of dumb. Indy, hey, thank you. So we're going to swerve around this and just probably cause some issues like punching a mirror. All right, uh, pretty dumb. Don't do that. We're all over the place lane filtering. It's kind of your fault. All right, so DJ Stony 2000. Okay, doing it when it's safe. Good. Okay, so you see how this is lane filtering compared to the last video. The bike All right. is an inattentive driver additionally using the phone while driving and decided to react. Okay, well, don't decide to react. If they're going to be on their phone, they're going to be on their phone. The main thing is going to be your own safety. It doesn't matter. Is he stopped for the pedestrian? Yeah, he is. This is not your job. You're not a cop. You just need to make sure you get from point A to point B as safe as possible. So right now, this is, you just created a situation where this vehicle can hit you. What's wrong with you? Muppet. You Muppet. All right, so go on with your day. Now we're slowed down because of that. All right, so Grom Squatch. Oh! <laughs> We just watched another one earlier in the stream. <laughs> you good? I'm, I'm, I'm you good? A little close call there. You gotta look both ways before you turn, Grom Squatch. All right, so group ride. Uh, make sure you're doing that. All right, so somebody pulls out in front of us. We're gonna swerve around it. A non-issue at that point. I don't know why we keep seeing these things. It's like you should be able to maneuver that. Remember to plan your ride and position safety. Locate that hazard so it's not a big deal. All right, uncommon thing. We got somebody right in front of us. Oh, we got side of the vehicle. People are just doing it. This is why we're going slow around these blind corners. If you're going fast, yeah, whatever. If you're going fast, you're going to have issues trying to slow down in time. Um, it's like oh, no, no. And when you spray it, it's like a Let's go back. Let's go back. Trying to get my, not that way, it's this way, okay? All right. Um, it's like a spray paint can. All right, so we're not paying attention, we're moto vlogging. Oh, it's this guy, through the eyes of this guy. He's, uh, he's, a, he's an interesting fella. Man. All right, so we're going through here. I believe this is South America. Let's go ahead and make me smaller. It's kind of weird. Um, on his phone. Oh, hey, you're on your phone. What are you doing? Yeah, see? All right, so this person merged in front of us. We're just going to sit here and fight for the lane. That's not going to be smart. That's not something that you should be doing. You should be focused, and you should move over because law of gross tonnage. Okay, law of gross tonnage is, is going to cause a lot of these issues. So running a red light and doing an illegal turn, okay, non-issue, didn't bother us too much. We're able to get through that situation, no buenos, and not a big deals, okay? No, what does bueno mean? I don't know. Bueno means. All right, moving through here. Speed what was that? Before this biker. All right, moving on. Very fast, crest of the hill, can't see very much. Surprise, the phone is not falling off because it's not using rock form. Now we're going to have deer, we're going to have animals, we're going to have a side of the vehicle, we're going to have anybody coming around. We're not going to even see anything, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. All right, here we go. Um... What, what's happened? What, what's happening? What's happening here? Oh! 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 oh. All right, here we go. Moving through this. Uh, pre, pre his. One second. Scarlet, what what does that say? Anybody know what that means? All right. Turn back where. Hey, look at side of the vehicle. Uncommon thing in a common situation. We got somebody on the ground. 
How are we gonna rescue this? Oh no, it's a rider. We're gonna rescue a rider. Whoa, 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 his his leg looked. Oh, okay, it's a boot. Okay. I think it's about mile marker two. I'm sorry? I think it's mile marker two. Mile marker two? Yeah, East, East Grade Road, mile marker two. The lookout. Good. Good. We're gonna spend a little time on this one. I said I was gonna go ahead and power through it, but we're gonna spend a little bit of time on this one. I'm just gonna speak about what happened. That looks like an illegal turn. And look at the bike went right into it. So this person did probably an illegal turn. They impacted and the rider went on the other side. I made a turn. I was making the turn and he came here and hit me. You made a U-turn from the shoulder on a two-lane road. I was sitting on the shoulder. I signaled. I, nobody was coming. No. Came speeding through. No. He made the U-turn here. I know. And made that's just going to... turn from the shoulder on a two-lane road. I didn't see it. Wasn't I hope you have good insurance. I do have good insurance. And hopefully he's got good medical insurance. Yep. Now I wouldn't I wouldn't antagonize some of this. Um, I, my main focus is this rider. Hey, good thing. Push on it. I'm not. I'm just making sure it's not sticking out. He's grimacing, so he's got pain. Can you your helmet off. You want to keep it on. Keep it on. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm just worried about his neck in case he's gonna. Neck yeah, I'm not gonna take it off if you don't want to. If you want to take it off. Oh my God! This is happening. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's a it's a scary situation. <laughs> What's that? It's in the trunk of his bike. Oh well, thanks. <laughs> but she thought that was his his bike, probably getting the phone. We're gonna talk, like I said, a little bit about this one. That's a high impact ejection, right there. High impact ejection. His phone. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that out without destroying it. All right. So we're gonna go back a little bit here. I want to focus on the rider himself. So here's the thing. We're, we're coming up to an area where we see something uncommon. Uh, we, see, we see people on the side of the road. We see the side of the vehicle. We have, it's in our lane. We need to start slowing down. And this is the one thing I really like about Pry Prism. That's his name. Hey, you know, check, your, check with your doctor after four hours. Um, but we're going to move moving through here, and he now starts to see this. This is part of being a smart rider, making sure that you can rescue another rider because we're we, we take care of our own right yeah. so we see this we see this now we see a rider on the ground he's moving a little bit we have somebody assisting we have somebody call 911 we have multiple people call 911 but this person is going to be assisting so far okay you got you got reception you got it. okay i think it's about mile marker two so mile marker two so he's going to go ahead and explain a little bit more but when this is very, very important. She's talking to dispatch, and they're trying to get where she's at, where this incident's at. So he's going to say mile marker two, and that's something I like to do when I'm riding or driving. I see those little mile markers, and I just take a mental note because if something happens within a mile, I know where I generally am at, and I know what road I'm at or I'm, I'm on. So then I'm able to pinpoint at least uh, for, for medical resources or even police where I'm at. I'm sorry? I think it's mile marker two. Mile marker two? Yeah, East, East Grade Road, mile marker two. East Grade Road, mile marker two. Great. Dispatch now knows exactly the general area that you're in. Exactly the general area. That's a, kind of an oxymoron, but yeah. doing good. Now, that's part of rescuing another rider. R, remain calm. E, ensure your own safety. That's what we got to do right now. Okay, remain calm. Part of that is calling 911 telling someone to call 911 or you call 911. The cool thing about having a Cardo Pack Talk is that you can do everything and have the dispatcher through your helmet. You don't have to take your helmet off and you can talk hands-free while you're doing work. So it's a great tool to use if you need it. So it looks like she's doing an assessment. She exposed, it sounds, or it looks like that the, the woman in the, in the yellow, uh, she does an assessment on him. She starts palpating the leg and actually exposes uh, the chest with a zipper. So very good. Now here's the mechanism of injury. You see where he's at? So right here, that's where he landed. So from this impact to there, possibly in the air, hit, a little bit of bounce, and then landed and just kind of stopped. So very high impact, very high impact. So we're gonna take a look at the vehicle itself. Let's make me a little bit smaller so you can see it. So, Scarlett, which way is that windshield being pushed? Is it being pushed in or pushed out? 
So if it's being pushed in, that means an external force hit it. If it's being pushed out, that means possibly the airbags uh, broke the broke the windshield and pushed it out. So I have a feeling he got ejected, tumbled across that, or at least hit parts of it. Maybe his head hit it, because when you go up and over, your head kind of goes forward. Looks like those were impacts to the inside going in, so it's from external force. You made a U-turn from the shoulder on a two-lane. All right, I don't hear any of this stuff. Yeah, he's going to be a level one. One second. I, it seems like everything shut down for me. Made it the U turn here. You made a U turn. I think it died. Turn from the shoulder. Nope, I can't hear shite. Can you guys hear anything? There we go. I hope you have good insurance. I do have good insurance. All right, so good insurance, whatever. So Nathan, cut that part out. Anyways, we're walking over He's here now. Medical insurance. And look how far he went. So you have to start thinking of the mechanism of injury. The mechanism of injury here. So... The mechanism is going to be lots of impacts, lots of possible broken bones, internal injuries, traumatic brain injury, anything and everything. So he's got boots on. She's taking them off because she wants to see if there's any damage to the feet. Um, he could be complaining of foot pain, so you want to take those off. And if he's bleeding through them, it's going to fill up that boot, and it might, the blood might come out, but that might be uh, a little bit later. It might be getting absorbed. So you, if you had to, you could put a tourniquet on his leg if he was bleeding out pretty bad. And we have those with the Smart Rider uh, rescue don't push kit. On, don't, don't push on it. I'm not. I'm just making sure. So he's moving. He's grimacing. That's a good sign. That means his airway is open. At least right now, he is breathing. So he's, he's breathing. Here's his lungs. I don't know why I put nip, nipples on him. Um, he's got his lungs. He's breathing. That means he's got circulation going. Now is the blood staying inside the body in the blood vessels? Oh, oh. this is real? Yeah. Okay, that's going to be a psychogenic shock. That's going to be normal. So here's the thing. If you are medically trained and this is you that crashed, this is probably how you're going to react, and then your training will kick in. But the problem is you're inside the incident. You're not going to function very well. Somebody like this is not within the incident, and she knows it's his emergency, so she's going to do the best she possibly can with the medical training, with the equipment that they have. So it did a very good job to try to calm as best he can. I'm just worried about his neck in case he's Exactly. Worry about the neck. Don't take the helmet off. Yeah, I'm not going to take it off if you don't want to. If you want to take it off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so what she wants to do, and I'm wondering why she's focusing so heavily on the legs. I don't see really any deformities to the legs. Um, but you still can take the zipper off. You can expose the leg, expose the leg, and it's okay to do so. We have a, an emergency blanket inside of our trauma kit, the rescue kit. So you can always cover the patient up later, okay? And we also have trauma shears, so if you have to cut things off, you can cut them off. But take a look right where my head is. He definitely hit his head. He, hit his, he would have hit his face because his shield was down more than likely. That would have been his face. So when you see damage to, to a helmet like this, obviously the head hit the ground or hit something. So you have a possibility of a traumatic brain injury. You have a possibility of a cervical spine injury. And you have a possibility of just the whole spine getting injured. So you have a spinal problem. So hopefully he's, he doesn't have any spinal issues, but you want to keep his head down. You want to keep him relaxed as best as possible. Um, double check his chest. Double check his arms. Double check his legs. Palpate. Actually touch the patient. Um, ask the patient multiple questions. See if they can remember it five to ten minutes later. If, if they can't, possibly they're going to have a, a concussion. But rescuing another rider. Okay, remain calm, ensure your own safety, stop any major bleeds or stop the hemorrhaging, and then quickly assess the severity. We have a ton of stuff, uh, a ton of resources for you. Please, 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 please grab the Smart Rider Basic Training ebook or the Rescue Kit. Learn how to ride. Learn how to rescue another rider. Take an accident scene management course and get gear. You see how it's a full system. You need to have it all. All right? <laughs> High impact. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, he's wearing full gear. That's good. But look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I'm trying to get his phone.
crazy. All right. From the cross. All right, here we go. Oh, let's go back a little bit. All right, here we go. Uh, R6N392 Life. Managed to escape from the cross. Riding through here, side of the vehicle. Okay, non issue. <laughs> Come on, Moto Stars. Non issue. You got the side of the vehicle. It's intersection, path of travel violation. You already know that's happening. You're speeding. Slow it down. All right, we can't see around this vehicle. We're going to swerve or move over. Okay, now that vehicle is going to want to get in front of us because our lane is open and that vehicle right there, that semi, is slower than the other semi. They're going to move over. So good job, though, finding that escape path on the shoulder. That's what you have to do. Sometimes that's what you got to do. So Yang Kev, here we go, riding through here. They're going to go over, too, because, you know, that lane is, is kind of packed and this lane wasn't. So you should anticipate that, okay? Uh, so be very careful around that. So it looks like it's a wet road. And uh, we should be able to handle this. Oh, they wanted to turn left. They weren't willing to turn right. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, grip and rip. Here we go. Riding through here, side of the vehicle. We got side of uh, people and bicycles. Because they can. Pedestrians have the right of way. Pedestrians have the right of way. Why did they do it right now? Well, look at where we're coming. We're, we're going through here, and they're already through the intersection. So you're accelerating through all this stuff. And maybe you shouldn't do that. Okay. Would you so we got people wanting to cross, and that's perfectly fine. They're allowed to. They should be able to, and they have the right of way. Cross now. Okay. Thanks for. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, Moto Stars. Whew. Do you like turtles, everybody? All right. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's end the poll. See what happens. All right. Yeah. Hey, we got a whole another video done in less than like what, 15 minutes? In 15 minutes, that was pretty good. Do you like turtles? 89% of you said yes. Whew. Somebody just wrote a review. Let's get the music going. What is this? Neil. Neil, what did you just get? Neil just got something from the store. I wish I could hook it up. That's why I'm looking into... Uh... That's why I'm looking into getting a WordPress thing a thing. Neil got a, a DDF and Crew sticker pack. Yes. Whoa, whoa, wrong whoa. button. Whoa, wrong button. There we go. Fat fingers. We got 13 more minutes. Terry, you can get salmonella from turtles. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Guys, grab yourself a rescue kit. Grab yourself a sticker pack. Grab yourself a hat. We sell these hats on the store, by the way. Do whatever you want. Uh, we're going to be making more resources free. Uh, we're going to be doing more and more. So every time you guys buy something, every time you guys go through the shop, uh, it definitely is funding. We, we are now putting a sticker pack inside every single uh, rescue kit purchase. Hugo, Hugo, yes. Um, on ddfmcrew.com. Just ddfmcrew.com. We have a uh, parking lot practice. Now, this is an old website. The, this is part of why I wanted to get an update and I wanted to get a web developer. Oh, by the way, we have the gear giveaway. Uh, but yeah, we got parking lot drills. This is so old, but it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. So let's do... See? We're going to be making updates to this. We're going to be making updates to this. We're going to have a whole new uh, system. Motorcycle training. This was like the very beginning of what I thought motorcycle training concepts would have been. And we're working with on motorcycle training concepts to make this uh, even better. All right. You have a gopher tortoise. What? Erin, 
No, thank you. Uh, had an uncle named Salvatore Minella. Very unfortunate name. Uh, oh. Dan, do you think the guy was speeding who crashed into the woman doing the illegal U-turn? Uh, maybe not. Probably not. It was around a corner. Um, so it was probably just going the normal speed. Maybe going 50-60 and the lady just pulled out and maybe he didn't see it ahead of time. All right, I'll let you have that one, we the people. Um, the guy filming in the last video was pretty much a, a D. U-turns are not illegal. In that area, it was. It was a, it was a solid, solid yellow line. Okay. The gear guys speed like idiots on those roads. I agree on that. And are hazard to the general public. Yeah, okay. Um... I think they're. I think they were going. Probably, maybe they're going fast. You know, there's a lot of guys that go fast. We didn't see that in the video. Uh, the, that U-turn was illegal, though. That was a, a solid yellow line. You cannot. You can't. You can't cross a solid yellow line. You can't. You're not supposed to. Prado Joe. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, I don't have that one. I don't have that one yet. Maybe that would be a good idea. Let's go ahead and make it right now. It is linked in the description, though. I'm going to make one right now for you. It's going to be gear. Now, now try it. Now try it. Demonstrate palpating. Oh, geez. One sec. I'll be right back. Took one of the rookies, rookies' legs. All right. Whew. Took one of his legs. They can't. Get... Now it's backwards. All right. So palpation. So let's pretend the person's on the ground. Let's pretend. The person's on the ground right here, right? So palpation is just touching the patient. So this is why I need to, it's too hard to do it in the dorm room. It's too, it's too small. It's too small. Now this, okay, that looks bad. You guys are gonna screenshot that. Um, so palpating. So you're gonna, you're gonna put your hands around the patient or around the patient's leg, okay? And you're just gonna, Squeeze a little bit and just go down. Okay, you don't want to do this because then you're possibly going to cut yourself on something sharp if they have anything sharp. So you're going to want to do this, 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 this. Look at your gloved hand. If there's blood on it, then there's bleeding underneath, obviously. So they're laying on the ground, right? And you're just going to go down the leg. You're going to go down the other leg. You're going to go down the arm. You're going to go down the other arm. And you're going to, and you're going to check. And for pain, you're going to check for any deformities. You're going to check for if you feel like a bone is not right. You actually press a little bit, not too much. And if they grimace in pain or if they say, ow, 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 or they like pull back, then you know that there's possibly something there. But you should be cutting the uh, the clothes off. And if you see blood squirting out, you get your tourniquet, you cinch that down and you should be good. All right, here. All right. Yeah, hop on over and put it back on. Um, great question. Great question. Whew. 
I won the Yami Nuba Prilla RS660 drawing two days ago. Hope I don't ye yeet myself. Thank you. Watching your videos always helps. Thank you, Dan. Hey, Alex. I'm in the I'm in his Discord. I'm actually signed up for for the bikes, and you got it. Then I don't know if I want you in here now. Okay. You're over here stealing my opportunity to have a motorcycle. Just kidding. Congrats to you, man. That's awesome. Thank you for all your work. Thank you so much for your work. Universal ambiance. I love Gandalf. You already have the best freaking <laughs> freaking name. Guys, this Discord server, I think you guys are having too much fun having too much fun on the discord server i'm not the angry little man all right pyro We do have we have the hats on the store, uh, I, unless I took them off. I've I've been taking all these things off. Let, let me I'll put the hat back on. I like the hats. I like the hats. I think I might have taken the hat off. I'm just not happy with uh, the pricing. Oh, the hat's back. The hat is on. Okay, the hat's on. All right. Take off the sticker though. Thank you for those of you that. Uh, Thank you for, for writing the reviews. Really, really appreciate the reviews. Um, so if you bought anything from the store, please, please, please write a review. Oh, geez, Raynan. <laughs> oh. All right. Where can I buy the rescue card? Universal ambiance. It's on the store. Um, let's do this. So the rescue kit is, is, is a kit, but you can buy the rescue cards by themselves. You can buy the rescue cards by themselves. Uh, we do have that on there and also the sticker pack and everything else. So grab yourself a rescue kit. Grab yourself the rescue card. Ride like you're invisible. Yeah, yeah. I I like uh, yeah. Ride like no one can see you. I like that better. Because if you ride like you're invisible, then that means like nobody can see you, and you're kind of like the invisible man and having a lot of fun. But if you ride like nobody can see you, it's a little different mentality. So I like that. I like the ride like you're invisible. Get rid of the pen. We don't need the pen anymore. It's causing issues. I don't ride a motorcycle, but I mountain bike, so I want to get the safety stuff. Universal ambiance, that's it's it's perfect. Uh, you can still be a smart rider uh, on a bicycle. Um, you just seek out situational awareness or seek out situational hazards. Uh, you need to maintain your fundamental skills of, of mountain biking, uh, acquire and utilize personal protective equipment. So helmet, and I'm pretty sure with mountain biking, you have different types of D30 armor, uh, you know, like sleeves and, and, and like a shirt and maybe even some hip armor. Uh, rescue another rider. There you go. Same thing. Teach a mentor. Probably bring bring a new person with you. Bring a new person with you. Okay, so I'm almost in the dentist bike demographic. Dentist bike. Every time I go to a motorcycle dealer on DMV, they ask if I want to have a tracker and ADV bike. Chris, why? The, what what are you showing up in? <laughs> an adventure bike is fun. I, I think adventure bike is probably one of the better bikes kinds of bikes you can get out there. One of the better kind of bikes you can get out there uh you can do so much on them a trike though i'm pretty i'm wondering why they they want you to get a trike trikes aren't bad it's just i don't know they're not bad uh scotty 62 187 can you have my hat uh we have them on the store Look, at, there's also the the d from crew logo on the back so it's not just the front it says d from crew smart rider it also has a logo on the back and they're flex fit. 
So they're great hats. I love them. Uh, we also have dad hats too, by the way. Dad hats are comfy. This is just my uniform. Uh, part of the DDFM crew. See? DDFM crew. DDFM crew smart rider. Terry Wildly. I just bought a 2018 Iron 883. Great bike. Uh, it was already lowered, but I hate the stock handlebars. Would 12 inch bars be hard to handle in turns? Uh, like mini apes, uh, not too hard to handle in turns, but they're more designed for cruising. So they're going to be more difficult than than the straight bars or. Yeah, they're going to be a little bit more difficult, but they're not going to be uh, to the point where you can't do stuff. Just practice, practice, practice. Those bars will change up the dynamics quite a bit. So practice, practice, practice your uh, your turns once you get those handlebars on and you should be fine. You should be fine. And if you don't like, you can always go back. Remember to change out your uh, your clutch cable and and everything uh, to match that. Barbecue. Yep, it is quitting time. It's 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That means it's 5 p.m. Yeah, for me. So I got to get going. I got to get back to the house. I got to take off. I'm off duty now. <laughs> it's off duty time. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be hanging out on the Discord, having a good time. Uh, you guys should go to the Discord. The Discord is absolutely free. Somebody do that whole uh, exclamation point Discord and join up on the Discord. I'm going to be hanging out right here in the off-topic lounge. Look at this. Hey, come on, Pyro. That's not nice. That's not nice, Pyro. Just kidding. I see you. I see you. It's 5 p.m. I got to get going. There you go. Hang out with us on the Discord server. Thank you, Matei. Matei, appreciate that. See you later, Gator. Get it? Get it? Get it? Thank you guys for an amazing week. We learned quite a bit today. Thank you to all the new members. Thank you for all the super chats. Thank you for being badass DDF and crew members. Join the Discord. It is absolutely free. We have some really cool things coming up. Terry joined, Prodigal join you already in there. Fat Nutmeg, how you doing? Terry, hope you have a good time with those handlebars. I love it. Hugo, Hugo, guys, if you can, if you can create some of these, I will. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Please. You know, I'm gonna down, I'm gonna download it. Let me download it. Yoink. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. No, don't delete it. Don't delete it. One sec. Let me, I want, I want to keep it. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. I'm just, I'm raining. It's fine. They, that, that can be in there. That's fine. That's funny. It's a medical procedure. It's a medical procedure. No, 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 no. Put it back. Put it back. You know Guess what? <laughs> oh, oh, come on. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. All right. Well, yeah, uh, it's a medical. It's it, it's a foot. It's a foot. You need longer streams or more streams a week? Uh, I'm I'm assessing the leg. I know. Oof. Rain and let, let us keep it. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it up. 
Seriously, though. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it up. It's palpating. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's a palpation of the leg. It's a palpation. Nobody can ban me. It's a palpation. I'll call it. Let's see it. Can I can I do it? What do I do? I'm gonna pin it. Just kidding. Uh, it's at least edit it. So palpating the leg slash medical slash hi. I know. I know. See, I, I palpated it. See, it says it right there. Palpating the leg. Oh, sup? You go DM me that. DM me it. You can't you can't take it off when I have it on my other screen. Miss Nance, how you doing? We're we're just finishing up. How you doing, Miss Nance? Will anybody have a gif of me palpating the leg where it doesn't look like it's a bad thing? Well, here you go, Miss Nance. Your name is being said at the very end of the stream it'll get your names all the way over there i'll watch the replay and all that stuff so miss nance miss nance miss nance is now immortalized in this video No problem. Tuesday at 2 p.m. 